So you stumbled on the napalm channel. Blown views, panel, killed and trampled. Smoke a camel, don't get anal. It's classic games all the time. Watch me rhyme, stream full time in my prime. Kill an undead like I'm Rick Grimes. Streams starting soon, so let's attune. Streams in the afternoon beneath the moon. Let's commune. Getting old, need a spoon when I eat my prunes. I learned to group in Black Burrow, end up in the dunes. So hit the like and the sub and the bell. I don't smell pretty swell in the dungeons where I dwell. You'll be a fan, I foretell. Shoot a spell when I yell and be my clientele. <laughs> now that's a nice shirt, huh? Introducing Into the AM, the most comfortable shirts I have ever owned. I'm serious. Man, the clothing of Into the AM had fast delivery. And I'm so excited to announce that we partnered up with Into the AM for an exclusive deal for you. My community gets 10% off. And yes, it stacks on top of any other promotions or discounts they have on the website. Check the link in the description down below to get the discount and check out the Nathan Napalm, that's me. My most absolute favorite shirts ever. Bright, beautiful designs. They fit perfect, man. They make you look good. And once you wear one, you'll never want to wear another shirt again. You're, you're just going to want into the AM all the time. So click the link. It helps the channel when you do purchase off this website using my link. And you're going to get the benefit of the softest, most premium shirts you've ever had. Click that link. Click that link. Let's go. I want to give a very special thank you to the members of Napalm for your contributions month over month in keeping me full time. You help me pay the bills so I can keep streaming and pumping out content and I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much and I think you might be interested in becoming a member of the channel. Please click the join button down below the video for more information and join our family. And I want to give an extremely big shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Daimlos, Sparrow, Random Rob, Rodney O'Mah, Gallerain Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Bad Wolf Gaming, Cobalt, William Long, Robert Deneka, Ohala, and Angel Tariq. Thank you for your highest tier membership. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Retro Game Night. It's time to play some classic freaking games. Uh, I'm going to start out. Graham had donated yesterday uh, in advance for some Tiny Toons. I didn't forget about you, Graham. What's up, Witcher? What's up, Steven? What's up, Doss Mead? Hello, everybody. Is everybody's gathering in here. Let's go back to the simpler times at NES. By the way, guys, I did add every Atari 2600 game. So every Atari 2600 game that was ever released in America is now playable. So, that's that's been added. That's brand new. I just play some Tiny Toons. I actually liked this game as a kid, too. I had this game. I liked it a lot. I was a big... I, hey, I was a big Tiny Toons fan as a kid. I really was. Alright, Tiny Toon Adventures, baby! Isn't that sweet music, dude? I'm Shirley the Loon. I'm a fortune teller. Please choose your partner. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with, uh, the duck guy. Don't remember his name. Don't remember his name. Okay, there's my jump button. You jump on their head, right? Yep. <laughs> They're silly and all around crazy. I don't remember the lyrics. Great rendition. Great 8-bit rendition of the theme song. All right, you little punks. I don't remember that mouse from the cartoon. Life of Ryan! First Super Chat of the Day, Dragon Spirit, NES, gotcha. Up next, my friend, up next. Oh, you can get that mega jump when you jump on him. I wasn't sure if that was gonna work or not. Oh, 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 the star turns me into uh Oh, he's got a little float mechanic, okay. A little bit, for a second, for a second. Maybe if I keep pressing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. I thought he could flap his little wings. I'm not sure if Buster, the main guy, has anything 
You slide? Oh, you can slide. Does it kill him? It does. It does. Oh, first level, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stage one, one clear. Thank you. Thank you. Nope, nope. Thank you, Lifer. I appreciate it. Dragon Spirit up next. Now, is Dragon Spirit? Is that the game I'm thinking of? Is that the, the shooter game where you're you're a dragon? Is it? Am I thinking of the right game? Because if it is, I, I used to play that. I, I don't think I owned it. I rented it, I believe. Yeah, it used to be back in the back in the eighties and nineties. We rented them games, you know. I, th I think that's. I think if it's the game, I, it is that one. Nice. Yeah, I, I like that game, dude. I rented that a few times. A lot of Nintendo games. Sega Genesis back in those days, you would rent a game. It wouldn't be that great. You'd never, you'd never rent it again. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm Hampton. Collect as many carrots as possible. You will get an extra player if you collect 30 carrots. How many carrots do you have? I have quite a bit of carrots. I have quite a bit of carrots. I got two lives. Try to get more. Okay, I will. I'll try to get more. I'll try to get more. I'll try to get more carrots. So that's what the carrots are good for. Gotcha. They're invading your TV. Uh. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, I've got life? I thought it was one hit, you're dead. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Was he throwing sunglasses at me? This is a good game, bro. Ooh, it was close. It was a little risque. It was a little risque. All right, all right, baby. Next level, son. Next level, son. Whoa, just got kissed. My church is ringing their... Oh, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, that's why. All right, here we go. See you later. <laughs> yeah! Oh, nice. I don't know what that is, but, uh... Yeah, I don't... Can he do anything special? And let me... Let me see something. Oh, I like that duck. And when do we get to play as Babs? Also. Is that only when you play two-player, maybe? Why is Babs not in this game? What's up? Alright, switching back to, uh, whatever this guy's name is, I don't remember. You used to play Time Seeds on ES all the time. It's a good one, dude. It's a good game. Back in simpler times, you know? Yeah. Battle of Olympus, I have every NES game. Every NES game, every Super Nintendo, every Sega Genesis, every 32X, every Atari Jaguar, and every Nintendo 64, as well as just added, first time on the show, every Atari 2600 game. Ooh, going in a cave. Going in a cave. It's a dungeon. Back to the dungeons, boys. Oh, oh, let's go trade in our carrots. Let's go trade in our carrots. Get them lies. Still better character models than Pantheon. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. You, that's not fair. That's not fair. Come on, though. Hopefully, we've got some big news on Pantheon coming soon, guys. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Say a little prayer that your old buddy Nathan Napalm gets what he wants. All right, all right. We're, I think we're almost done. Oh, this guy again. I think we're almost done with the first world. I feel like we've done this before. I feel like that. I feel like. Okay. Uh, do I have to? Oh, I died. I didn't. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm dying. I didn't even. I thought that was just how the level ended. I didn't even realize I was dying. She's a boss fight. All right, well, there's Tiny Toons. I do have ET. I made sure. I, I I think I've got every Atari 2600 game. I did my best. Definitely, I have ET. All right, 
Life and Ryan, you don't have to play them, but two other games I loved were Eight Eyes and The Fantastic Adventures of Disney. We will we will play those games, Life and Ryan, because you super chatted it, and that's the freaking rules. Next up is Dragon Spirit. I wouldn't mind to come back to Tiny Toons a little bit later tonight because I really do like that game, and I forgot that was a boss, and I thought uh, I didn't realize what was happening. Uh, so I wouldn't mind to come back to that. But let's do Dragon Spirit. All right, where are you? Let's get up to the Ds. I'm about to scroll up. It's way up here. Dragon Spirit. And I assume you're talking about on the NES, because that's what I played it on back in the day. But I think it might have come out on other consoles. Where you at? Uh, Dragon Fighter, Dragon Power. There it is, Dragon Spirit. Dragon Spirit, the new legend. This is it. This is the game I rented. I remember this perfectly. By Namco. Interesting. Reactor on Atari. Love the music. All right, Crinkle. Coming up. Added to the list. Thanks for the super chat. The hero Amru, disguised as a blue dragon, is finally about to fight the monster Zawel. I'm playing now. Here we go. I can't, I can't kill these guys. They're invincible. No, they're not. I'm a liar. Wait, can you go, like, down? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can go down and up, right? Can't you go, like... Maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. I thought you could, like, dip your dragon down. Oh, this music's so good, dude. This screams 80s right here. Oh, snap! I think you gotta... I don't really... Okay, there we go. When, it, when it's got its thing down. Watch out for that boomerang. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Get it, get it, get it, get it. All right, when she turns, get her, get her, get her, get her. We got this. We got this, son. We got this. We got this. Oh, snap. I love these old Nintendo games, dude. They're so good. Woo! Woo! That boomerang coming for me. Dang it. Missed it. Come on. Open up, open up. We got her, almost got her. Oh, there we are, son. Love it. This is the uh, prequel to Panzer Dragoon, by the way, in case you didn't know. Amru and Arisha married and had twins. Amru became ill from his battle with Zawel. He got sick. He got a virus. The twins were named Lace and Iris. Meanwhile, Galda started conquering the Earth. Galda took Iris away at his vic as his victim. Lace took the sword, which his father left, to slay Galda. And so it begins. What an introduction, dude, for a Nintendo game. What a freaking introduction. A freaking turned into a dragon, dude. Dude. Turned into a freaking dragon. I, I I'd forgotten that. I thought you were riding on a dragon. I forgot all about that. Oh, I remember this level. This I don't remember. I think this game starts out fairly fair, and it gets hard as crap. Oh oh oh! That took half my health, son. I don't even know if I can shoot those or not. I think I'm just supposed to avoid them. I can shoot those though. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. This is good music, too. Can I shoot that guy? I could have sworn you could dip down low. Oh, oh, that's right. There's another button. That's what I was thinking of. There's another button you can shoot low. I knew there was something. Okay, now I got it. Now I got it. Can I shoot that? What is that? Is that a power-up? Yep. Power-up? Yep, yep. Watch out for the bullets. Give me extra power. Oh! Oh! Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm almost dead. Oh, I was trying to bomb him when he was on the ground. Alright, that's alright. We got this. We got this.
All right, we learned some things. We learned some things. Oh, stay away from that. The music and everything sound good, guys. With my voice, you can still hear me. I noticed last retro game night, I had the music too loud. I tried to adjust it for tonight, but let me know how it is. Let me know there in chat how it's sounding. For beating that first boss decides the difficulty of the game, you you best tell him it's harder. Oh, oh! I don't. I didn't remember that. I don't know if I even knew that. How enter? I should have let him beat me. That's a great idea. Very, very innovative for the for the time. Just gonna avoid that guy. Okay, this guy's gonna hop up. Here we go. We're prepared for him now. You're not tricking me this time, punks. Ooh, set. There we go, there we go. Much better, much better. Oh, crap. They they freaking come right for you, dude. Oh! Dang it! Got him, got him. Oh, whoa! Alright, we're doing way better, we're doing way better. Oh my gosh. Watch out for the feathers when they blow up. Oh, here we go, son! We got the baby dragons now, dude. Okay, watch out for the fireballs. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're playing with power, you know what I'm saying? Try to blow up that ship. Oh, watch out, watch out. Here we go, here we go. Get him, get him. There we go. We got this, we got this. Try to get that power up. Gotta get that guy on the ground. Dinosaurs on the ground, dude. We got, we got Godzilla's down there. the heck are those? Jellyfish in the air? If you do the first boss, you play this little... Oh, dang it, dang it. I was looking at chat. Uh, you play this with a uh, level of two health bars and the later levels are different? Wow. <laughs> I have heard that story, Life Ryan. I love that story, dude. I love that so much, Life Ryan. It's great. Hey, dude. Let me tell you something. I didn't even... I only knew one rich kid my entire... As a childhood. I didn't... There was not as many rich people when we were kids, dude. Everybody was poor. Yeah. Like, there may be somebody in chat right now like, I wasn't poor. Uh, but most of us in chat right now, you know. You know what I'm talking about, dude. In the 80s, 90s, there wasn't a lot of money, bro. Minimum wage was like three bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was broke, man. Um, I don't even know how my parents afforded this stuff. Like, I have no idea how they afforded it. They were just suffering, I guess. They were just, like, doing without. Because I did have a decent amount of video games. I, I pretty much... I mean, I had to wait for Christmas most a lot of the times, right? But, like, I would get a game or two, you know, between Christmas. And, like, rentals, um... And friends, dude. That's how we got. That's how we got by back in the day. We would we would trade games with our friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'd let your buddy borrow Dragon Spirit so you could play his Dragon Quest. You know. And and you know they get their game back when you got your game back. You know, and you you so you'd be making deals out. Well, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, you'd be making deals out there. You know, you'd be like, bro, I'm not I'm not trading you. I'm not trading you my Dragon Spirit for freaking Tom Sawyer, dude. That game sucks. You're just gonna run off with my dragon spirit, bro. That's not that's not gonna work like that, dude. You're gonna have to put up something a little better game, dude. You want my dragon spirit for a week. That's how we got by. Trade all the time, yeah. I remember doing that though, people would, cause like I, they, some people would trick you, dude. You know, they'd be like, yeah, 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 Tom Sawyer, it's a great game, bro. It's a great game. I I I'll, I'll let you borrow that, and then they wouldn't give you your game back. They would you know, they would they would try to keep let you keep the crap again, so you had to be careful. And I don't know how my parents even knew this, but we're talking about like 1986? 
right? We didn't have a computer or nothing in the house yet, right? We, we didn't get into that until the 90s. Um, I remember my parents were like, be careful who you borrow games from because there might be a virus on the cartridge. And I remember thinking like, what? You guys are crazy. What are you guys talking about? I got the two-headed dragon, dude. This is epic. Like, how do they... Like, they were... Like, they were kind of right. Like, I don't... I don't know if anybody got a virus from the Nintendo game, but like... How do they even know that? Oh, dang it. Dang it. Alright, that might be game over. Hmm. This is a good game, though. This would be a good game. You know, I get my Team Shoot Neutral's arcade game from Bayou Billy. Step off. Yeah, dude. I was in Miami at the time. It was rough. Ooh, Miami. What's up, Sparrow? Thaldred. If you... Okay, I'm going to try this again, guys. Um, let's see if we can... Whoa! Life of Ryan! Whoa! 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 With the epic super chat. Feel generous tonight, man. You're still my favorite streamer next to Asmongold. Here's to finally having money. Never forget where you came from. Bro, thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Epic, dude. Epic. Thank you so much, man. Also, big compliment, dude. Big compliment, dude. Thank you so much, bro. That's that's epic. You wanna you wanna pick some games, bro? You gotta bit you can pick a lot of games, dude. If you just wanna send a list. You can just send a list of games with the with the, with that. I'll, I want to see if I can get a little further in this game because I really like it. And then we're gonna move on to the next uh, next super chat. But yeah, Life Ryan, send a list of, of classic games you'll see me play, bro. We know a lot more of things now than we knew the last time we played. Oh, sh No! Why did I fall for that? I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, then we got this guy coming over here. That one, over here, then that one. Okay, then these guys, then that one, then these ones, then that one. Thank you, Life Orion. A freaking epic, bro. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much, man. Such a blessing, dude. Thank you. Oh, no. No. I didn't want to die there. Ah, all right. All right. Whew, I'm sweating, dude. I'm sweating. This is intense. This is what Nintendo games are all about right here. I can see why I rented this game over and over again back in the day. This is actually really good. I think you can pick this game up for like little to nothing, by the way. I want to say this is... Whoo! It's one of those games you can pick up for pretty cheap. Ooh, we got the triple fire. We got the red dragon, son. It's getting serious. Now it's getting serious. We don't want to lose this. We don't want to lose this. Can you get that guy down there? No, 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 no. Dang it. I did another bullet. Well, those don't hurt too bad, at least. Give me that power up. Godzilla's. Here we go. There we go. Dude, this guy, when he does that, he causes like an earthquake. Okay, we're down to two at a dragon now. Let's get that guy. We lost our earthquake ability. Dude, the feathers. The guy. Ooh. Ones that explode in feathers are dangerous. Whoa! He was coming right at me, dude. Oh, no, no, no! I ran right into the fireball. All right. Oh, my gosh. It's dangerous. Okay, got some health. Ooh! They're coming out of the water. Okay, watch out for fireballs this way. Okay, boss, I think. Boss. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Gotta hit him right in the head. Oh, why'd I lose all my powers? No, 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 no! <laughs> That was so close to glory. That was so close to glory. Where you marry me, life of Ryan? <laughs> Except my wife just saw that. 
<laughs> I meant be my friend, of course, of course. Oh, oh, okay, feathers, feathers, feathers. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I lost the three dragons that quick, dude. I just got them. All right, we're coming up on the boss. I would love to beat that first boss, dude. It'd be, be just like a kid. I, I'd feel just like a kid again if I could beat this boss. There we go, there we go. It's another one. Give me that power up. Alright, two heads. Here we go, here we go. Coming up on that boss. Didn't I get a little bit of health the last time right before I fought the boss too? Oh, dang it. It was too close. Okay. Right here. Right here. Okay. Power up. Ooh. Okay, and this is going to be right. Then, here we go. Here we go, boss. All right. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, my gosh. Hit my fireball right away. Man, he is demolishing me immediately. Sea turtle. It's a sea turtle. So cool, dude. Well, anyway, we better move on to the next game. Great one, though. Love Dragon Spirit. That's an awesome game. All right, what was next? What was next? All right. Eight Eyes. I, you know, I've heard of this game. I've never played it. Let me scroll up to the top. Since it's a number, it should be at the top. Eight Eyes. Here it is. I, I don't think I've ever played this. I heard about it, though. Okay, welcome to Eight Eyes. One player. Arabia. Oh. Is this like a... Is that a switch right there? Yeah, there we go. It's like a Castlevania type game? Or like a 2D... Oh, dang it. It's based on anime, huh? Oh, I don't really know how to... I don't really know how to... do this properly. There we go, okay. Can't go in that door, too? No. Okay, let's go up these stairs. How do I go up the... There, okay, there we go. Oh, crap, you can't attack on the stairs! <laughs> Oh my gosh, you stupid bird! Those birds are annoying! Can't go through that door? Oh my gosh! Jump across! What? Uh, I couldn't climb up there. They got stupid birds! Okay, got that one. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it sucks you can't attack on the stairs, dude. Ugh! My gosh. Okay, got that one. Oh no! I can't go through the door. Oh, there's a switch. Oh, I didn't even realize that one bird was mine. I've been trying to dodge it. So, is there like a way I can send that bird out? Oh, my goodness. Oh my gosh. Give me that. Give me that cross. Does that help? Oh, I don't even know what I just did. I just froze that guy somehow. Okay, there's another switch. No! Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Oh, you gotta go quick. The door closed. It's gonna be hard. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright. Hang on. There we go. We got it. We got it. The Pantheon news? Oh, skeleton. OK, 
can't believe I'm still alive. I'm getting my butt kicked in this game. Oh my gosh, the fireballs! Okay, got him, got him. Here we go. Okay, gotta wait for it. Oh my gosh! This is hard. Okay, go up here. Oh, look, I can attack on the stairs. Weird. Oh, he killed me. He killed me. I thought, I thought if I crept up the stairs, I could get him. It's a crappy game, but it's one of the few I had. That was what also was good about back in the day. Was that, um, I'm gonna try it one more time. Was that, uh, you know, you had to play what you had. So, like, we would play some crappy games. And we'd even have some fun with them, because it's all we had. We would learn to love them. You know what I mean? Had a lot of games. Actually, I think back, I'm like, man, that was a crappy game. But I had fun. I didn't, like, I don't remember actually sitting there being like, this game sucks. You know? Like, I might know that deep down in my heart, like, mm, this game sucks. But I couldn't say that. My parents spent money on it, so I had to be like, yeah, it's awesome, and I play the crap out of it anyway. You'd be, I remember trying to, I remember actually having games I didn't like, but, like, my parents were like, so you like your game? I'd be like, oh, yeah, look, it's freaking awesome! It's freaking awesome! Because, you know, you begged for it. You know what I'm saying? And they spent good money on it, you know what I'm saying? Why can't I, I can't stab that guy. <laughs> this one's, oh, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Why can't I attack that lady? I can't kill that lady! What is up with her? As I gotta say, that switch kind of looks like something inappropriate. Uh, I'm just, I gotta say it. Yeah, you do have a falcon. I don't know how to force him to help me, but uh, sometimes he gets out there and does some work. Golly, dude. Freaking. I swear that one guy was, uh, those little dudes, what are they called from Star Wars? Not the Ewoks, but the other little ones with the capes on. The ones that uh, had C-3PO. Oh my gosh, this game is hard. Yeah, it is. It's what it looks like EQOA. I mean, there's no doubt in it. If you had a game, you played that game. It came up pretty poor, so when Mom got me a game, I played it and played it and played it until I couldn't stand it anymore. It's so true. Volume good, guys? Volume good? I don't know if it's too loud for you guys or not. All right, let's try it. What was the other game? He had another game on his list there. Uh, let's see here, Life of Ryan. What did? What was the other one you said here? Is it called? Is that what's called? Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. I remember the Dizzy game. Is it fantastic? Let's get to the F's and see. All right, F. Yeah, we weren't as picky back then, you know? We learned to love stuff. Here it is. Yeah, it is fantastic. Got it. I remember this game. I, I've at least tried this game before. I've at least tried it. Double Dragon. We'll likely do Double Dragon tonight. Or Streets of Rage. Or Streets of Rage. Okay, Karen exploring. Do I... I don't remember, like, do I get a... Holding nothing? A match? Oh, is this like an adventure game? A bunch of water? A pile of... Do I... Do I take it? How do you, uh... Okay, there we go. Okay. We'll put it there. Can we pick up the water, too? No, we're full. So we got a match of... Okay. Now we gotta... We gotta, um... Figure out how to get out of here. What do we... What do we gotta do here? 
Dizzy places the straw around the bottom of the door. Okay, now let's light it, maybe? Use a match. Dizzy steps back from the straw and lights the straw with the match. Teaching kids how to start fires. It's excellent. This in the game? This isn't the one you were thinking of? What's the name of the game? Oh dear, you got too close to the fire. Oh my gosh! This is not the game? Is there another one? Hang on, this is the one called Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. Same name? Different game? Maybe it's on a different system? Maybe they released on, like, the Sega Genesis? Hang on, let me check. You probably played it on a different system, I bet. Uh, let's see. FFF. Okay, Flicky. Let's see, fantastic. Yep, yep, I bet you played it on a different console. Let's try it on Genesis. You think it's just the? This is definitely the right game, though. This is the fantastic. We can try the tea, but let's see if this might be the one you were thinking of. Does this look better? Daisy's been captured by the evil wizard Zack, so he Dizzy's brave and clever enough to rescue her from a terrible fate, leaving the safety of the Yoke Folks Treehouse Village. Dizzy sets out on his greatest adventure. Is this it? Is this the one? Oh, what the heck? What just happened there? 248? What's it talking about? Man. This isn't it? Well, that's weird. Okay, we'll try the T. Okay, we got the. Uh, I like the. I like the how it's like you press this button. These are like little adventure games, apparently. Maybe you played the. Uh, um, you sure you played the American version? Maybe uh, a lot of times the music will change for like the European release or something like that. Is that possible? Or the Famicom version? I only have the U.S. Uh, versions. That could be it. They do do that. This is it. Okay. All right. I gotta figure out. Go under him. I don't think I can attack anything. Oh, it's crap. It took damage. Oh, wow. Uh, is he going to move? Oh, I see. He ain't going to move. All right. Let's try going this way. A key. Okay, I see it went down there. Is that thing gonna hurt me? It, that thing hurts me. Alright, let's see if we can jump over it, maybe? There we go. Is he gonna hurt me? He looks friendly. Oh no, don't put the key down. Hmm, he's blocking the ladder. Piece of meat. Oh, maybe he'll. Maybe I gotta give that guy. This guy looks like he would eat a piece of meat. Oh, not the key. Huh. I don't know how to tell him to give the meat instead of the, uh... This is for the ground elevator. Are you an egg, strange game? Yeah, what's up, Zucan? Oh, I have the Atari 2600 games now, EQOA. I've got every Atari 2600 game uh, added to the list as well. Somebody's already uh, recommended one, actually, coming up. Okay, let's try going... Oh, the elevator. There we go. We used the key. Okay. See, we're getting somewhere. Oh no, that just let us back up here. Oh, maybe I can put the piece of meat down now. No, I don't think that worked. What's that guy? Somebody coming at me. How did he just walk by? Oh crap. Okay, that didn't work. I was hoping I could put a piece of meat down real quick. I, I, I don't understand. All right. I don't think that's it. All right, let's go back down. Okay, we're gonna take the elevator. Oh, actually, 
Oh, it's raining. Crazy. This game has weather. It, was it raining last time I came here? Okay, let's give him the piece of meat. Oh, come on, bro. You know you want to eat that. Eat the meat and then move out of the way. That guy, don't, that guy didn't like my meat. You gotta be kidding me. Can, maybe, I, maybe down here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. What? Oh, it's... Oh, my gosh, it just... It's nighttime now. Oh, whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Uh, press B to pick up an object. Press B to drop an object. What do you think it will solve a problem? Press A to examine objects held. There are often extra clues in the text. Oh, let's check the clue for the meat. A tender joint of cooktown. Okay, that doesn't help. That does not help. What's going on with my dude here? Is he dead? He's behind the tree. Okay, there we go. He's not dead. All right, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 jump! Oh, I can give the meat to this guy, I bet. Okay, slow down the meat. Go. Do you take it? It worked, dude. He's gone. What's that? We got a heavy bag of gold coins. Oh, I bet you that's for that rich king guy. He looks like he would love... He looks like he would love a bag of gold coins, dude. Hang on, we gotta go back. That, that rich dude back there? Oh, dude, he's gonna be so excited about this. Dude. Oh, what happened to my bag? Oh! What happened to it? Did I actually lay it down? What happened to my bag of gold coins I just got? It's gone. There it is. Let's get it back again. Hang on. I know that's what we gotta do with this. I'm convinced. Teaching kids to gamble like it's 1987. Yeah, my pleasure, Life Ryan. Thanks for the epic donation, bro. Okay. Let's give it to this guy. Are you kidding me? Look at this guy! You cannot tell me this guy would not get excited about a bag of gold coins. Alright, it's not for him. It's not for I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Look at that guy. Look at him! Oh my gosh, I thought for sure I had it figured out. I thought I had it figured out. I can't believe he didn't take my bag of gold coins! Did everybody chat, you, you thought that was gonna work too, right? Like, you saw that guy's face. Ooh, snap, I got a little platforming here. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. He drowned. Hey, it's an egg. Why is he drowning? He should be fine. He should be fine. They should totally make this egg crack when he dies, though. That that would that would add a lot to the game, I feel like. Alright, there is something else here. Oh, it's turning on the other side. Nice. Oh what? How do I Wait, how do I Okay, I see. Uh, I'm not very good at these. Um I'm gonna move that one to here. Wait, how do you do it? How do I make it move? Okay, there we go. Okay, this is gonna go down here. Okay. This is gonna go... Oh, no, 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 quit. Okay, this is gonna go over here. Okay, this one's gonna go over here. Um, we're gonna move this one up here. Go up here. Um, uh, oh, I see, I see. Uh, this needs to go over here. This needs to go over here. This needs to go over here. Um, this can go down here. That can go down here, I think. Um, this can go over here. We need to move this one up here. We're gonna get him around there. Okay. Um, no, no, no. Move this one down here. Uh, put that here. Uh, put this here. Okay, okay. Um, over here. Oh my gosh, we're running out of time. I'm getting freaked out. All right, keep going down. All right, move this one over here. Okay, and move that down. Down here. Come on, man. Oh, no! I got the... Oh, crap. Oh, I almost had it. Um. I don't know where this one goes. No. Where does this one go? I don't get it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so close to figuring it out. Come on. It's, it's close enough, ain't it? Okay, this one, this one needs to go over here. Oh, no. These are supposed to be on the bottom. I just realized. Hang on. Oh, we're running out of time. We're not going to make it. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. Oh my gosh, I'm so close, dude. 
I was just gonna get that one right down there. No, no, no. Go, go, go. Oh, dude, look at that grain of salt left, dude. Oh my gosh. Whoo! Mario RPG is amazing. It sure is. And I, I got high hopes for the remake. Oh my gosh, that was close, dude. We did it with a grain of salt left. We had like a grain of freaking salt left. Uh-oh. This is a really weird game, dude. Hey, let's check our hints here. A protective old umbrella. I don't think that'll... I don't think the king will take that. I think we can go in this door, though. Uh, Castle Street, Bridge Street? Is this guy gonna hurt me? Uh, yeah. I thought he might be nice. Give him some gold. <gasps> it worked! Dude, I would've liked this game if I was a kid. That part right there would've made me be like, oh, this game is cool. Let's pay the goblin gold to pass by the bridge, dude! This game is cool! Oh, snap. Getting serious now. Oh, quit jumping. I don't know which way to go. Let's try to go this way. We'll go under that. What's that? We got a barrel? Ooh, pirate rum? Straight up alcohol? Okay, alright. I see how it was back in the 80s and 90s, maybe, maybe early 90s. Alright. Ooh, is that a crowbar? A very strong crowbar. Oh, we're gonna break into somebody's car here in a minute. It's gonna go full on. full on Grand Theft Auto mode here in a minute. He'll be exalted. That's right. <laughs> Dock Street. That's probably where the pirates are, right? A pirate map. I, I think I'm out of inventory space, though. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh my gosh. Is, is it the same one? What do I get for doing this again? Alright, let's try this again. Um, alright, well this one we know goes up here. Okay. Uh, this needs to go down here. Or actually right there. Um, where's that other corner at? Here it is. Let's go and get that in place. Okay. And then... Oh, snap. This one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was the hint that lets you know... That it was supposed to go like that. Um, Alright, let's move him over here. Okay, right there. Uh, where's his other side of his face? Okay, right here. This is an interesting game. Okay, now we got a little body. Get this little guy right here. Let's move him over here for a second. Gotta get him there. Oh, that's not right. Oh, that was the other guy's leg. Whoops. Oh, crap. Hey, quit freaking me out with the sound effects. Where's the, uh... Where's this other... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, let's see if we can bring it around, maybe. Okay. Right here. Okay, and then we can... Oh, my gosh, I'm gonna run out of time. Uh, and I've already solved this before. Uh, I don't see the other bottom piece. There it is. Okay, that should go here. Uh, now we got this all situated. No, not that one. This one here. Okay, put this here. Oh no, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make it this time. I'm not gonna make it this time. I'm so close though. I'm so close. This one right here. It's gotta go. No, no, no. Actually, ah, oh, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. I didn't make it that time. I didn't make it that time. Home Improvement, Power Tool Pursuit, Super Nintendo? I didn't even know about that game, Grand Old Reaper. Alright, alright, we're gonna switch games. This is a cool one, though. I like this game. This is a good one. It's interesting. This is an interesting one. I like this one. This is fun. Different. Very unique. 
We're still polish gate three good playthrough. Uh, we are gonna do that. We are gonna do that. We are definitely gonna do that. All right, let's move on to the next one. What was next on the list? Very cool uh, recommendation though, Life of Ryan. Uh, that was a cool game. And I've never played it, so that was super cool. Okay, Reactor on Atari. All right, we're going back to Atari now, boys. Reactor. Hopefully I got it. I tried to get them all. Now, there's not pictures for all of them. Um, however, I think I got all of them. Okay, Reactor. Where are you at? And keep in mind, guys, I didn't play a lot of Atari. Uh, I, played a f I played some of these. Uh, but, like, I didn't like the Atari. Um, I was, you know, I got showed it, and I was just kind of like, eh, I don't care. You know, I'm going to go play with my micro machines now. Uh, it didn't hold my attention. Arcades and the Nintendo did, though. Um, so I didn't, I never actually owned an uh, Atari. Like, my aunt had one. Okay, where are we at? We're in the S's. Reactor. Here we go. Here's the R's. Oh, I don't... S oh, wait, wait, wait. Real sports. There it is. Reactor. Yeah, never played it, I don't believe. What are we doing here? Oh my gosh, what's going on? Okay, I gotta figure out what's going on here. I think I'm laying bombs. Am I doing the right thing or not doing the right thing? Maybe I gotta... <laughs> what are we supposed to do? I don't get it. Alright, wait for the bad guys, maybe. No? It just... What is going on? Too young for the trade play once in my uncle's house. Some two lane racing game, but don't remember much. I don't. Am I supposed to get in there and drop the bomb inside there? And then get out of the way? Dude, what am I even doing? I have no idea. I can lay a bomb. But if I don't. If I do. You're hitting the wall. Oh, I'm hitting the wall. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so I just... That's what it is. I'm hitting the wall and dying. Okay. Okay. But what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go in here carefully and lay a bomb? Oh, it won't let me lay a bomb right there. Buttons are not doing anything now. Can I pick these up, maybe? Oh, no. I hit the wall. I hit the wall. What? You have to use your imagination. <laughs> What's going on? Who recommended this game? <laughs> you gotta tell me, bro. What is going on here? Alright, I'm gonna try again. It's, it's changing colors. Oh, oh. The room changed. Did I... Uh, I hit the wall, I guess. Should be the little lights that come out at you. Can't deny my smile, those Atari sounds though. Yeah, I don't mind the sound effects, they're pretty good. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, 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 don't hit that wall. Okay, let's just... Oh! I saw a dot. I did see a dot. My console's busted. Alright, let's, let's reset it. Okay, I resetted it. Oh, there's... Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay. This is hard. Dang, dude, this is hard. Oh my gosh. All right, hang on. All right, I'm resetting it. Here we go. Oh, get in, get in the room. I mean, what does the bomb even do? Oh my gosh. There's like a floaty kind of effect when you. Okay, don't. I'm going in this room. I'm gonna wait for them to all. Yeah, you can't get me in here, punks. Oh, we got in here. Oh. I did get some points that time. I did get some points that time. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Okay. 
Come back out, you little punks. All right, there's a little room up here. Go in here, real careful, like. What? I didn't hit that wall. I didn't hit that wall. That's BS. I didn't hit that wall. Why does the bad guys quit coming? Why does it? Why does the map switch? I, 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 is it a pig face? Dude, that might be the other side of the pig, if you know what I'm saying. Kind of looks like the other side of the pig to me. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna real carefully go in this room. I don't, I don't understand what I'm. What's the point? What is going on? It's whatever you want it to be. Well, I'm gonna say. Look. Light bright was a cool toy. I, I I don't know, man. I, I'm gonna reset it again. I feel like it only works one time. And I still don't know what to do. Alright, let me try this again. Like, what does that little dot I laid down do? These guys just, like, they bounce around. Oh, 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 got him. Oh, 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 oh! Gather! Gather! Oh my gosh, it's getting bigger, guys. It's getting bigger. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Stay away from me. Oh! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Got one left. I'm laying down a bomb. Oh, it's shrunk back down. It's shrunk back down. Ooh, that got intense. Can I pick up my bomb? Oh, blue ones. We got blue ones. Okay, now we're, now we're getting somewhere, guys. Now suddenly the game's... Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Dude! Oh my gosh! Oh, dude, they're beating the snot out of me. Oh, I hit the wall. I hit the wall. Okay, now I'm starting to get it. Now, now suddenly it's working. The dot you drop attacks them. Okay. It won't drop a dot now. I must have already used it. Can I, I can bounce them into the wall, too, it looks like. Yeah, okay, take that, punk. Yeah, get in that wall. Oh! That's how you kill them. You gotta bounce them into the wall. Get in that wall, dude. Get in that wall. Get up. Go over there. It's like bumper cars. This is like bumper cars. They should have called this game bumper cars. Get in that freaking wall. Eat it. Eat it, suckers. Eat it. Yeah. Eat it. Get it. Oh, yeah. You don't like that, do you? Take it. Oh, oh. I'm gonna unlock the secret level, dude. How my freaking hand hurts. Get Get over there. Oh, they're bouncing, they're bouncing me back pretty hard now, you guys. It's getting a little... It's getting pretty intense. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, come, come for it. Come for it. Come for it. I'm ready for you. Got him. Got him! Alright. What's next? Ooh, red guy? Oh. Oh, red guy split into two red guys. Oh, that one's got a bomb, too. that wall. Get in that wall. Come on. Come on. We got this. One more. One more. Punk! Take that, son! We're up to 7,500 points. We're doing pretty good. Now we're fighting the pink guys. Come on. This is where they got the idea for um, Battle Royale. You know, where the, uh, where the level shrinks, right? See how it gets bigger as things get intense? Woo! It does look like a pig's face now. Sometimes it looks like a pig's, you know, other side. Okay, we got the red dudes now. They're gonna run out of colors in a minute. Oh, I almost hit the wall. I almost hit the wall. Clay Fighter 63 and a third. All right, added to the list. Thank you, Grain. Thanks for the super chat, brother. Oh, that's a boss, dude. That's a boss. You see him? Oh, ooh. Get in that wall, dude. Get in that wall. I'm not dying today. I'm not dying now. I come too far. I come too far. Oh, oh, oh. We got two bosses. Thank you, Grain. We'll add it to the list, dude. 
Ooh, I almost hit that wall. Yeah. Oh, dang. They're bouncing me pretty hard now. All right, we've got a couple more here. Oh, we got him. We got him. Dude, this is a tight little space that's making me fight in, dude. Oh, it's hurting my hand so bad. All right, all right. Dude, I, I, I feel like I'm doing really good. Once I understood the objective here, you gotta fight these dudes. You gotta shove them into the wall. Oh, they threw me in the reactor. They threw me in the reactor. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I would've played the crap out of that back in the day. This is football. <laughs> football on acid. <laughs> clay fire. Is that clay fire game with a bunch of money? The one on the 64? Kind of sucked, but still. Yeah, Elvis and Clay. Yeah, it was funny though, right? That's what I'm remembering. All right, what's next on the list? Good recommendation with the reactor. Love to see a little Atari. That's new that we can play Atari games. So love to see one of those. We got to play at least one tonight. Uh, what was next? Uh, Life of Ryan. More Tiny Toons. Micro Machines. Ooh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, those are all coming up. Um, all right, Eight Eyes. More Tiny Toons. Let's do some more Tiny Toons. That's a good one. And now that I know that was a bad guy, maybe I won't die in five seconds. All right, Tiny Toons. Where you at? Tiny Toons for the NES, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Atari cover art, still love it. Yeah, they did have some good cover art. All right, let's pick a different... Let's pick our uh, little baby Tasmanian devil, whatever that guy's name is. All right, we got this, boys. We're going to tear it up this time. Oh, you can run, I just realized. Can he do something special? Oh, he can. He can turn to a tornado. Sweet. Oh, uh, oh, dude, dude, that'll help with that boss, won't it? This is perfect. Let's save our power up. We need all these carrots. Okay. Level one's done. Level one's done. No problem. Dizzy Devil. Was that his name? Baby Taz name. Yeah, Dizzy Devil. Was that it? Sounds right. Slowlim. I don't know if I ever played that. You say it's by Rare? <laughs> okay, back. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I really wanted to stay as the Taz guy. I'm just used to grabbing every power up I see. Let's play a bad move. Oh, that is his special move. Is he can go fast. All right, let's turn these in. Maybe I can switch if I press select. All right. How many lives do I get? Two? I should get two lives. Give me my two lives. Nightmare on Elm Street NES. That game's hard. I actually like that game. See, wait a minute. No, I never played Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Friday the 13th. No, was it Friday Yeah, it was Nightmare Down. I can't remember now. Now I'm starting to get confused. I played the one where you could walk around the... the. I think it was Friday 13th. Oh my gosh, no! What? I thought I could make that jump. I don't know why I did that. All right, let's try it again. You would like go in the cabins. I think that was Friday 13th, I'm thinking of. I don't know if I ever played Nightmare on Elm Street on NES.
Okay, let's get this guy back. Let's keep him this time. That's too good of a move. We can beat that boss. Maybe. Oh! I forgot your power has to be up. I pressed the button to turn him into dizzy tornado mode. Um, it turned out that I forgot. You can't just do that whenever you want. It's a limited resource. It was still on cooldown. You know what I'm saying? Forgot about the cooldown. Uh, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that. Stay away from me. Okay, here we go. Alright. Let's get this extra life. We need it. I just wasted some lives. Back when you couldn't skip through the text, you just had to deal with it. Alright, 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 Hampton. That's enough, dude. That's enough. That's enough, bro. You wa you wasting my time, Hampton. Alright, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, alright. We're coming up on the boss, I think, guys. Right after this guy. Right now. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's time for the boss. Alright. She's crazy, dude. She's crazy. D oh, don't waste that! Now let's get her power back. I can't jump on her head! I can't jump on her head! How do you beat this crazy lady? How do you beat that crazy lady? Yeah, I love... Uh, I love Nemo, Dream Master, bro. I freaking love that game. How do you beat that lady, dude? Did you guys see that? You can't jump on her head. It's gonna be stuck in her heads all night. Yeah, probably. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. Link to the Past! Wow, that's a good one, bro. That's a good one. One of the best games of all time, agreed. Alright. Added to the queue. Freaking love that game. Freaking love that game. Good suggestion, Mujin. Okay. I don't... Does anybody know how to beat this guy? This lady? I, I don't know if we just... It's a survival, maybe? Maybe it's survival? You just gotta not die? And just dodge her, maybe? I'm not sure how to beat her, dude. She's always grabbing these guys because they're so cute. Be like, oh, you're so cute. You guys remember that in the show? There's only two buttons and none of them give a kiss, Mujin. There's only two buttons and none of them, none of them give a kiss. Can't remember. Uh, I did beat this as a little fellow, though. I did, too. I think I beat, I'm pretty sure I beat this game. Okay, there's got to be a way. If I figured it out when I was eight, surely now that I'm freaking almost 40, surely... Oh, no! I didn't want to become the stupid buster. I didn't want to be buster. All right, let's get our, let's get our lives, even though, even though Hampton talks too much. Six lives, six lives. <laughs> Thank you, Mujin. Appreciate you, brother. Who knew kids games is like Dark Souls? <laughs> right, all Nintendo games are like Dark Souls, dude. Alright, we gotta figure out how to beat this lady. I, I'm, I've been running it through my brain. I, I can't think of anything she... There are little hearts come over her head. That might be a clue. That might be a clue, guys. Alright, we got to take this like it's a raid fight. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. See, there's some hearts. Oh my god! Bro, I jumped as soon as I could move! She's crazy! She's crazy! I'm just farming for lives, right? Oh my gosh! I, I got to have one more time! This is ridiculous! <laughs> Dude, I jumped as soon as I could move! <laughs> it's 
It's a little bit, a little bit outrageous, Tiny Toons. I mean, come on, you're embarrassing, man. I'm a 40-year-old man playing Tiny Toons on the internet for, for God's sake. So just let me, <laughs> give me a break here. All right, we're back. Okay, we got this guy, but his tornado did not hurt her. It did not hurt her, bro. She, she went right through that tornado like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. I might have to look up a dang strategy guide. This is this is this is to force you This is to force you to to call the one at one nine hundred number for Nintendo Hotline. Got insta gift. <laughs> the rain and link to the past, you knew you were about to play something special. It's so true, dude. It's at the very beginning of the game, too. It's so atmospheric, bro. And like you'll see some you'll see some knuckleheads these days be like Link to the Past wasn't even considered to be good graphics when it launched. Dude, what? Why'd I do that? I guess it don't matter. Everybody who says that was not alive when Link to the Past, or did not play it when it came out. We were, that was freaking beautiful graphics, dude. I see, I see like a bunch of retro channels say that all the time. They're like, even back when this game launched, it wasn't considered to be very high quality graphics. Meh. Idiot. Yes, it was. Yes, it freaking was. It still looks good. I agree. That that bothers me when people say that. Like, dude, were you even around when that game came out? People were freaking out. Dude, I had so many friends. Every time I went to their house, that game was on their TV. They just left it on. They just left it on. They were just like, we go outside and play. We do our thing. We come back. It was still on. Like, that we were freaking that game freaked us out, dude. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a big deal, and we thought the graphics were amazing. Because they were. Because they were. Alright, alright. Let's get around this guy. Okay, alright. Alright, here comes the boss. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Alright, okay, maybe I can move before she while she's doing the hearts. Oh, I can. I can. Okay, I see the problem now. Okay. Oh, here she comes. Alright. Okay, I think I touched that heart. It didn't do anything. I'm just, we're gonna play this out for a while. I can't jump on her head. Oh, oh, that is it. You just dodge her. You just dodge her. It's all about the stamina, baby. It's all about the stamina. Mario 64 is mind blowing. Oh my gosh, yeah, dude. Like, literally, I will never forget that feeling, dude. When I played Mario 64, I'm blown away. I'll, that will never go, I'll never forget it, bro. We rented a Nintendo 64 when they first came out, me and my, at my cousin's house. And just, I'll never forget how blown away we were. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I don't know if I can kill those or not. Okay, I can, I can. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Did I kill it? Yeah, I did. This is sweet. Old school 8-bit graphics and 8-bit audio, bro. So good, it makes me so happy. Oh! Oh, he didn't die, he didn't die. Okay, I'll go down here. Oh, dang it, I didn't even mean to do that. I was trying to, I was trying to go over there. I was trying to go the other way. I oh, just wasted that. I wanted to see if I could break the uh, torches like Castlevania, but you can't. All right, back to Babs. I mean, not Babs, Buster. Okay, all right, we got this, we got this. This ain't no thing. Oh, snort! I didn't know you were gonna come out of there, dude. You gotta almost memorize the levels. Should we get them? Yeah, we probably should. His, his power up's way better than like that. That's way better. Alright, go easy. Come to go under him. I'm gonna jump over that guy. Alright, alright. This ain't too bad. This ain't too bad. Okay, that one's gone. Now there's gonna be another one. We go up this hill. There we go. And then there's another one right after this. When we go up, got to be ready for him. He pops right out. There he is. Got him. And they keep coming. They keep coming, though. Oh, my gosh, you stupid. 
This is hard. The story clerks, yeah, when you're playing the game in the, uh, standing there. Dude, that would make your neck hurt, too, you know? Like, my mom took a long time to shop, you know what I'm saying? So, I'd be sitting there sometimes looking up like this. Remember that? You'd have to be, like, playing your game, like... I remember my neck hurting from doing that. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Alright, alright, right, right, right. right. Okay, come on now. There we go. We got this. We got this. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna jump up here. Is this a secret up here? Oh, alright. Let's get our... Wait. Oh, sweet. I think that stopped time. I recognize that 8-bit sound, dude. That stopped time. Oh, oh, that's what the heart does. I can take one hit and I don't die. I just realized that. That's going to fall on me. I knew that. I played I played plenty of Nintendo games. I knew that was going to do that. I'm falling for that old trick again. All right, guys. Never been here before. You're getting here. Duck. Oh, shoot. That hurt me. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to play another one. Great game, but we got to keep moving. we got to get through this list. What else do we have here? I think we still have one more game recommended by Life of Ryan. Hang on. Let me see what he had here. Castlevania. It looks like it's deleted some of yours, uh, some of the comments, but I do see Castlevania 2. Castlevania 2 is good. All right, let's try it. All right, Castlevania 2. And uh, I think you'd recommend Turtles as well, the arcade game. Uh, let's do uh, let's do Castlevania for a bit. Scroll her on up to Castlevania. There we go, Castlevania Two: Simon's Quest. Wasn't this the first one? Yeah, it was. So the first one was just kind of like a straight up, you know, make your way through the levels. This one you had to talk to like people. I remember getting stuck in this game like. Talking to my friends. Wait, wait, wait. First thing to do in this town is buy a white crystal. Yeah, like, I remember getting stuck in this game. And also, wasn't this the game where randomly you had to, like, just duck holding a crystal in your hand or something for, like, for a long time? A crooked trader's offering bum deals in this town. What's this music, dude? Rest here for a while. You couldn't really save the game, could you? I don't think you could, could you? This is so good. This music's so good, dude. All right, let's go down the steps. It was wild, yeah. The handheld game of this actually beat it too. Nice. Buy a white crystal. Um, we probably don't have enough, but let's see if we do. Did we? Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay. Well, that was something we had to do, but I don't remember why. Then Sunfold totally ripped off Castlevania vibe. True. All right, here we go, boys. Trying to get some, trying to kill some undead. Werewolf skeletons. When I was a kid, I actually kind of thought this game was a little scary. The Castlevania games, like a little bit, I was kind of like, "Ooh, it's kind of creepy." Kind of scared right now. <laughs> Dude, they're on top of this 8-bit music game, bro. What a horrible night to have. Oh, that's what you're talking about, dude. What a horrible night to have a curse. I forgot about this. So nice. All right, here we go. It's getting serious now. We got nighttime. 
freaking forgot about that, dude. Oh, duck. Oh my gosh. It, oh. oh! I suck. Alright, go, 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 go. Okay, we got him. We got him. Oh gosh. Oh, I gotta hit him one more time. Oh! Made the jump. I made the jump. Okay, okay. We're doing good. We're doing pretty good. Everybody's having a... Oh, no! Let's get him this way, then. I actually thought he would turn around when he hit that. It's okay. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. This is fine. Everything's fine. Jump over this guy. Let's go down. Down into the evil caverns below. Never owned this. My neighbor did. I jumped the fence all the time to go play it. I didn't like the kid, though. There was a lot of that going on, too, where you'd be like, Bro, I don't really like this kid, but he's got good Nintendo games, dude. So guess what? We're friends. So guess what? We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that back then. <laughs> like, those like those are kind of creepy looking, right? Like, as a kid with an imagination, like, that's understandable. I mean, look at those creepy women running at me. They probably got gonorrhea trying to give it to me. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude, that's difficult. Right, we're gonna try again, we're gonna try again. Stupid bats are annoying, dude. Bats are always annoying in like every game. Oh, you stupid! Die bomb me, man. Okay, down the steps. Hit her, down the steps. All right, here we go, here we go, it's a good tactic. Oh no, he was facing the wrong way. I'm waiting on her. I'm waiting on her. No gonorrhea for me today. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, the eyeballs. I'm about to back out. I'm about to back out. Let it work out. I'm about to come over here. Oh, dang it, dude. How am I supposed to get that guy? Dude, that's hard. I don't know how I'm supposed to get it. Look how he moves at me. Ah, in the lava. Dang it. Dude, I don't know how to get this guy. Get out of me. Jeez. How am I supposed to do it? Am I just supposed to run? The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Is the eyeball going to disappear at least? Please. Nope. Dang it! I'm dead. How the heck am I supposed to kill that guy? He gets off in my business. Oh my gosh. How the heck do you kill this guy without dying? Okay, got him. I know I can get this guy before I jump up there. Oh my gosh, I didn't make the jump! There we go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, the eyeballs aren't as scary as I thought. You only gotta hit them twice. Nope. All right, how do we do this? How the heck did he get up there? I'm hitting my head. All right, maybe try... Maybe I gotta go a little bit further over. There we go. Oh, crap. Two of them. Three of them! Okay, there we go. And it's just a wall. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Music is lit. Yeah, music is so good. Honestly, the game 
could be trash, and I would we would probably still love it because the music is so memorable and good. This is top shelf 8 bit. Whoo! Oh! They kicked my butt as soon as I walked in. Stupid bats! We should only have to hit the bats once! Oh, tight corridor, too. Okay, back outside. Oh, the spiders! I remember those. Oh, spider webs. Forgot about that, though. Over here bopping my head. So good, dude. Hey, what's up, Michael Gillard? You need a better weapon? Yeah. They've done countless remixes. Yeah, somebody completely remade this game. I made a video about it with, like, um, modern, well, you know, like, really good pixel art. Like, it looks on the level of Symphony of the Night. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's like a fan make of that game. I made a video about it. I had a download link. I don't know if it still works or not. It may have got taken down, but uh, I did make a video about it on my channel. Sweet game. All right, now, Life of Ryan, you had mentioned one more. because Life of Ryan dropped big money today. Big shout-out to Life of Ryan. He did mention another one. Ignition Factor. Okay, uh, did you say it was on Super Nintendo? Yeah, Super Nintendo. Okay, all right, all right. Super Nintendo... Ignition Factor. Have I played that? Uh, 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 where are you? It's Indiana Jones. Losing a guy. That's a good one. Okay, Ignition. There it is. Igni ignition Factor. That's it. All right. No, I don't think I played this. Eminem, Deep Dwarves are near completion. They're planning to release it with a content-themed module. Epic! <laughs> Same thing go the Popsicle Fund. Oh, well, maybe another day. I want to see if it does... Okay, I think that's it. Uh, sometimes it does something cool. So I just want to see. All right, Ignition Factor... What even kind of game is this? Okay, people, let's save some lives. Uh, we can go to the bad part of town or the nice part of town. Bad part of town, nice part of town. I'm gonna let you guys vote. All right, what are we doing here, guys? Which way? Okay. Bad part of town or nice part of town. It's up to you guys. My fate is in your hands, guys. Vote away. Which way are we going? Bad part of town? Nice part of town. Trash town? Splash town. The Fireman on Super Famicom is amazing, dude. The Fireman game? I remember that game. There was a really good one on Sega Saturn, dude. Uh, 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 gosh, what's that game called? Um, uh, it was made by Sega, Sonic Team. Um, where you where you like fight fires and it's all futuristic and 3D. It's freaking cool. Alright. Bad part of town one. Alright, we're going to the bad part of town. Thanks, chat. You're always right, so thank you. Bradshaw, still mill, target floor, first floor. Is this the firefighting game? Is this it? Everyone to the briefing room. Let's get started with the briefing. This is the Firefighter game. Oh, I have played this. Never owned it, though. The Bradshaw Steel Mill is on fire. Some workers are still trapped inside. In eight minutes, the factory will no longer be safe. Rescue at least five people and get out fast. Comments? If you carry too many items, you won't be able to run or kick. You can identify which color a door is by the marks on either side of the door. Uh... Choose the arrow that corresponds to the side of the building. I don't know, dude. You would like to place the fire truck. Um, well, yeah, just leave it right here in the front, I guess. Uh, each item has an icon, either a circle or a triangle. You cannot use two items with the same icon. I see, okay. After you have selected, push okay. 
what's this? It looks like a fire extinguisher. Chemical? Oh. They gotta put it up here? Seems we'll put out chemical fires. How do I, uh... Do I put it up here? Is it just telling me? How do I, uh... Yeah, I wanna bring these. Do I just have them already? Equip item. After item is equipped, press OK. What's it talking about? Uh, I guess that's all I get. Alright. Jump. Kick. Okay, I know how to jump. Jump and kick. Um, I don't... Oh, okay, okay, I see. I don't know how to use my fire extinguisher, though. I thought I set it to Y. What am I doing? Okay, here's how we go down. I don't know how to put out the fire, though. I pressed all the buttons. Okay, now he's got it out. Urgent message. Keep your eyes open for any items you can save. Am I gonna run out of it? Oh my gosh, I am gonna run out of it. Okay. Oh, it refills. Nice. Oh, shoot! I caught on fire. I didn't feel like I was close enough for that to happen. What the heck? I'm not even... Not even touching it, bro. What the heck? Okay, so you gotta stand way back, I guess. What the? Why is he running? I didn't do that. That fire doesn't go out. It must be a different kind of fire. Okay, okay. But you can do it at an angle, too. Oh, it comes back. Dude, why does he keep running? I'm seriously not even pressing that. He's just running for no reason. Like, I'm not even doing that. Okay, somebody's come back. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I thought I was supposed to save people. Am I, like, gonna run out of time? <laughs> There's somebody. Okay, okay, there we go. Does it even matter if I put out the fires? Do you need any more equipment? I mean, yeah, I'll take more if I knew how to, to take it. <laughs> okay, I did pick it up just now. How do I take it? Yes, this. I want this, okay? I don't get it. All right, whatever. Whatever, dude. You don't even work. All right. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Can I even get those? Okay, I'm out of... I'm out. All right, refilled. Ooh, that don't look good. Okay, there's somebody to save. I can figure out how to get... There we go. I'm, you stupid idiot. Quit doing that. I'm not even pressing the walk. Oh, well, it blew up. I thought it wouldn't blow up if I put out the fire around it. Alright, here we go. Let's try to save one person at least. Jeez. Those drums contain propane if the fire hits them. They could blow. Yeah, or just touch them and they can blow too, apparently. You need, no, I don't need... You don't even give me the equipment, bro. No, I don't need your stupid... Whoa. Why'd she just walk through the fire? Oh my gosh, I am not running. I am... I am not doing that. I'm not even pressing 
the control pad. I, th I feel like I feel like my version of the game is broke. Yeah, the, there's no music right now either, which I thought there was music in this game. Okay, uh, this is back at the beginning, right? So let's try going this. Way. Don't know what he caught on fire for. There's no fire there. Oh, it's coming back. Yeah, this is not working out for me. Go, 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 go. Dude, why is he running? Why does he do that? I'm not pressing anything. Alright. I gotta figure out why. It's like he just randomly runs. Forward. Okay, it's gotta be down that way, right? We we came from up here. I have to go up and... Yeah, the emulation must be broken this game. This is really frustrating trying to play it like that. Because he just they just do things I'm not even pressing. It's going to be better or worse if you were a weed whacker man cutting down growing weeds. Dude, that'd be epic. Somebody should make a game like that. I feel like that'd be addictive. Yeah, I think there's something broke with the emu emulation on that one. It's just doing... It's just acting strange. And also, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be music, too. I could be wrong, and maybe there's not. All right, let's see what's next. Um... Oh, let's make sure I didn't miss any. All right. Home Improvement Power Tool Pursuit. Grand Ole Reaper is actually a good game, dude. I've never even heard of this. Home Improvement. All right, dude. Okay. All right, then. All right, Home Improvement. <laughs> why did they make a... Why did they make a game about Home Improvement? They were just making games about everything back then, you know? They're like, Seinfeld, yeah, why not? Make it a platformer. <laughs> what the heck, dude? I, I didn't even know this existed. He fights dinosaurs? Is that the theme song? I haven't seen this in so long. I don't know if that's even a theme song or not, is it? Alright. Let's see what you did to me, Grando Reaper. Tool time. Al, today's a very special day here at Tool Time. The bit whoops. Well, thank you, Tim. I appreciate Benford's support. Oh my gosh. And how will they be honoring you, oh master of mistakes? By adding my name to a new line of ultra power tools. Yeah, this is the Super Nintendo version. Everyone knows that real craftsmen don't need more power, Tim. Al, don't give me that new age philosophy. The modern man wants the same thing he did in the Stone Age. What is that? What is that, audience? More power! Ah, uh, yes. The lilting sounds of the something jungle. It's time to reveal the new Benford Taylor. Turbo power tool line. Ow, the tool case is empty. Call security. Call the police. Call the National Guard. Now, Tim, calm down. The tools were probably misplaced. That's all. Sure, Al. It's okay for you to be calm. The tools don't have your name on them. Look, I found this note. Backstage, if you ever want to see your precious tools, again, go back to the Stone Age where you belong. Is he really going to go to the Stone Age? Okay, Al, the joke's over. Where are the tools? How's he going to get to the Stone Age? Tim, honest, I did not take your tools. I wonder what the note means. Stone Age, huh? 
you know, we might try looking right here on the lot. They're filming Dinosaur Safari on Soundstage 3. Might be a good place to start. Oh, it's like a clue. Oh, it's like, it's like not really. It's like you're going through stages, like, like Hollywood sets. Yeah. Okay. 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 Must, <laughs> what the heck, dude? Is going on? All right. What can we do here? He does have a gun. Do I have bullets? Oh, I have a time limit too. Okay, we're picking up. Okay. Okay. Well, this makes sense. This is uh. On brand. Oh, what the heck just happened? How do I? Oh, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog when you get hit. Okay, there we go. Now we're shooting staples. Oh, it's a, controls are a little slippery. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Jump over the egg. Oh, I was trying to hit it. How many times I gotta hit the thing? Weird, they decided... Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that was... Oh! That's disappearing. It's weird they decided to go with the Sonic the Hedgehog type damage system. How many times you gotta shoot things? With... I guess they are staples. I guess it would take a while to kill someone with a staple. I don't even think I can jump that far. Is there a way to get in there? Okay, I can break those. How do you break the one in the bottom? Sonic without the, the graphics look so good. Well, I mean, this is a Super Nintendo game, by the way. But the graphics aren't too bad. Okay, let's try going down this way, maybe. I don't even know how to kill things. Okay, that worked. There's a... A large one. What? Alright. Yep, there's a treasure. Four crates. Please don't tell me I gotta get up. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna kill me. I thought it was gonna take me to a lower level. Alright, alright, well. What's he supposed to be swinging down on? Yeah, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm kind of stuck. How do we get out of here? I don't see anywhere else to go. How do you? Maybe I can jump down. Oh, oh, okay. It's a freaking raptor down there. That didn't work. How do you get down there? What? I'm like stuck. If I jump down there, I die. Dude, th th there's like... Maybe here. Dude, I'm stuck here. Like, I can't go anywhere. I can't jump up there. And this is where the game is starting me at. The jackhammer doesn't break the rock. I thought for sure it would. That's that's all I got. That's all she wrote. This was definitely a play for five minutes. Wait, did something just happen just now? When I was reading chat, did something happen? Something happened. You later get a sledgehammer. You're welcome. <laughs> Dude, Grendel Reaper, what is this? We're actually stuck. And look, even 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 doing Ranger Gate, it starts me back down here where I'm stuck again. Oh well, I got a game over. I'm gonna try it one more time. We're gonna try that one more time. Just got this is garbage. Alright, I'm just gonna skip all this.
did you did anybody own this game? Did anybody was this one of the games like we were talking about earlier? You had to pretend like it was awesome. I, I can't imagine this sold very many copies. I can't imagine that. All right, I'm gonna try not to go down in the cave because that you die. Apparently, that's just a dead end. They didn't think about that nobody would ever be able to get out of there. Okay, got that ant. I'm not gonna fall for that again. Try to take the high road this time. Okay, I got him. Oh, little baby ones came out. Oh, shoot, I messed up that jump. Hang on. I don't I don't know if it's possible to get over there, but I'm gonna try. No, there's no way. Okay, this also seems like a dead end. How the heck are you supposed to get up there? We know we can... But how do I get rid of... Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, how did I do that? Wait a minute. Does that work on these? No. I do have a sledgehammer. This time. There's a hat. What does that do? Don't, don't die. Oh, no. Am I invincible? Oh, no. I fell back down here. There's nowhere to go down here. Maybe the sledgehammer? Nope. There's no way that they made this entire part and there's no way out. There's no way. They really did. We need the manual, but the last person ran it stole it. Dude, there's seriously not a way out of here. Is there? The grappling hook? What are you talking about? Do I have a grappling? Yeah, I'm trying all the buttons. Oh, wait. What was that? That does look, kind of look like a grappling hook. It's not working there. Maybe, maybe on this island. Aha! Okay. All right. Good, good call out, bro. Good call out. It was the grappling hook. Now we're back here again. Okay, maybe maybe we need to go through here. It's like a Metroidvania. I just realized. So you gotta get you gotta get like the uh, see like now I can go through here, right? I can't believe I can't believe that, th that this is a Metroidvania dude, based on the on the lore on the lore universe of, of Home Improvement. Why'd they do that? I gotta figure out how I... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Somebody actually made a Metroidvania based on freaking home improvement, dude. You gotta be kidding me. What kind of weird... I think we started back at the beginning. I cannot believe this. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. Okay. And we just keep ending up back here also because because we need something that we don't have yet. I want to get down there to the Bowser Raptor shooting fireballs. All right, guys, I think that's enough of this. But anyway, we did at least discover nothing else this game existing makes me feel a lot better about my stupid ideas in life. Oh, look, it's even giving me a little hint there that I need to go up. I, I can't believe this. Want well, to see yet another freaking weird yet amazing game? Ninja Baseball Bat Boy? I, I do know about that one. I do know about that one. All right, let's see what's next on the list. Uh, weird. That was a weird one, Grando Reaper, and you knew it. You knew what you were doing. Uh, you know what you are doing. Um, all right, next up is Clay Fighter 63 and a third, thanks to Graham. All right, Nintendo 64. Let's get to Clay Fighter. I don't know if I've ever played this version. Maybe. 
I, I had Clay Fighter on the Sega Genesis, and I, I, I actually liked it. They did two, by the way. There was the Sculptor's Cut, which I believe came out after this one. We're going to play the one that Graham recommended, which is 63 and a third. Acid, bro, acid. <laughs> Interplay presents... Fighter, 63 and a third. All right, let's check out these options. Music, difficulty, yeah, we're cranking that down to, ooh, whoa. <laughs> Look at the, we got normal, r cookie, normal, whoa, dude, psycho. We're going cookie. Spillets. Psycho? I don't know what that means. Throws and holds. On. Time limit on. Controls. Let's look at the controls. Brutal punt. Oh, I gotta use the C. Okay. Wobbly punch and wobbly kick. Okay. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to do. Alright. I'm going to have to, uh, next time I, I do a uh, Retro Night, guys, I'm going to set up, I have a, a PC Nintendo 64 controller. I'm going to have it set up to where I can switch to this for the 64 games. Instead of using this where the C is the right analog. No, I swear I'll get that set up for next time. Alright, who do we want to be? Where's my man at? Oh, Earthworm Jim. I forgot he was in this game. I have played this. Unless Earthworm Jim was in the Genesis one. Now, I don't think he was. I think that was a new edition for the 64 one. If that... Get it, crumble. Get it, they're clay. <laughs> uh, he just comboed me to death. I can't even move. I gotta figure out these special moves, dude. Oh, oh! He was coming after me with his special move. This is a little choppy. Wait, did we just go to a different map? What just happened just now? Okay, there was a tornado kick thing. I'm winning by a little bit. I don't know how to block. He's tearing me up, okay? Triple brown Betty combo. <laughs> I kind of like the way they did this game, though, with the 2D... Uh, oh, we are we are going to different maps. That's interesting. I do kind of like the 2D on top of the 3D maps, actually. Come on, I beat him. I beat him once. That's only one round? That was brutal. It's like Killer Instinct, you keep the health that you had before. I need to get, whittle him down a little bit here. No, 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 don't kill me yet. I'll get a couple hits on you. It's like Killer Instinct, though. You don't reset. Oh, I wish I knew how to block. I don't think I played this one. If, if Earthworm Jim isn't on the Sega Genesis one, then I did play this one. I remember playing as Earthworm Jim. I didn't own it, though, for sure. So I must play it at a friend's house. Eat cow! Alright, we got this. We got this. Oh! There was, I don't even know how I did that. Hang on, how did I do that? Oh! 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 There's my combo! Hey, not fair. He broke my combo. Boom! Sucker fatality! He shot himself in the face. Dig the art style. Yeah, I kind of like the art. 
I'm not sure I've seen anything like that before, the 2D on 3D map. It's kind of cool, actually. It's a little too choppy. Uh, I, when we're done with this, let's try when they remade this game. Uh, the, the sculpting, because a lot of people were pissed about this game for some reason. So, let's we're going to do the sculpted version after this. I want to see how, how well they updated it. Like, in, in a way, you can kind of get away with the choppy in this game because it's like claymated feeling. But it, but it is a little choppy, like, noticeably. But I like it. I actually really do like this. It actually does look claymated. It's like 2D claymated. It's interesting. And I really like these angles. Look how, like, now it's like kind of bird's eye perspective a little bit. This is actually kind of cool, dude. I know people hate this game, but I, I'm seeing like some pretty cool in innovation here. I'm gonna try to shoot him if I can do that. I feel like I've hit him like a lot of times. Have I beat him once already? There we go. I'm starting to get the hang of the controls too. I'm a superhero. I win. Mortal Kombat 3 with that knocker you made a new part of the level. Yeah, that's that's kind of impressive too. Ooh, what, what level we got here? Is this a graveyard? Let's get ready to crumble. Mm. A cabin in the woods. No, look at that. Fight. Whoa, man. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> oh, this guy's gonna kick my butt, I think. Loser. Ooh, he just slung me across the freaking map. Oh, dodge this freaking. Get him, get him, get him. No, 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 A lousy combo. Get him, get him, get him. He's like getting out of rubber chicken on me. You guys seen that? He's rubber chicken, he's old. Got pulled off my lousy combo. Alright, beat him once. I beat him once. Dang it. Oh my gosh, quit doing that, dude! Oh, snap. Wish I knew how to block. He said, cluck you. And jump, jump. Come on, get him. I feel like there wasn't a lot of good fighter games on the 64. Um, Smash Brothers. Um... I thought Mortal Kombat 4 on, on the Nintendo 64 sucked. I hated it. Um, was there any others? I feel like this is decent. I would have been okay with this if I'd have got it back in the day. Ooh. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. We almost got him. We almost got him. We're definitely going to the next guy. Done. Beat him. Sound like the original voice of Minsk? It does sound like Minsk. I thought that sounded familiar, dude. That's totally who it is. Dig the art style. Uh, kooky courtyard. Let's get ready to crumble. Um. Wait, <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. 
<laughs> feel about this level, dude. Uh, look, the nineties was a different time, I guess. Oh, was the Homer guy? Really? I didn't I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, this guy's just running from me. I can't get to him. I really like the character art though. Oh jeez. Okay, he just knocked me into oblivion. Where the heck are we now? We're outside. It's snowing out here. Alright, I beat him first round. Still got a lot of help too. Uh oh. Yeah, take that. I, I keep thinking I've figured out how to do the gun. And then I can't get it to work again. There it is. I wish they would have made a good... Like, imagine if they made a new Earthworm gem with these graphics, dude. 2D. And they did a 3D one on the 64. It kind of sucks. Um, but if they'd have done it, like, in this style, new Earthworm gem, dude, that would have been freaking awesome. The last guy played... Uh, was played by the voice actor in It was him! Nice, Mugen. Great ears, bro. Great ears. A lot of fighters in the arcade against the AI, like you were a drunk man, the AI would learn your paths just dunk on you. Yeah, dude. Mortal Kombat 2 is relentless in the arcade, dude. Relentless, dude. If you beat Mortal Kombat 2 in the arcade, which I did back in the day a few times, bro, you were ready to play people. Like, it was hard as crap. They were so cheap, dude. Fighters actually, at one point, is my favorite genre. I just love the competition of fighting your friends and going to arcade and trying to beat the teenager, you know, to get the older teenager in there who is absolutely dominating all the kids. You know, you could be a freaking hero in there, you know, people be watching you. You didn't know all kinds of special moves. and That was just a beautiful time to be alive, bro. Beautiful time to be alive. Cannot be replicated again. It was just... It was the socialization of video games, arcades. Before Twitch, before YouTube, before all that, we had arcades, dude. Lo so cool. Such a good atmosphere we had. Alright, Earthworm Gym 2 is kicking my butt here. I have to focus down. Yeah, I don't know why everybody hated this game. I think this is good. This is a good fighter. Ah, oh, dang it. Got that cheesy combo on me. Itty bitty combo. Come on, quit running for me. Come on, come on, I wanna get you, I wanna get you, come on. Oh my gosh, quit running for me, dude. Is there like a run towards them? Yeah, there is, okay, cool. You can double tap to run. Oh no! Dang it! Dang it! Little girly combo. Oh, shoot. Come on, don't let him get you. Don't let him get you. Ah, oh, that should have hit him. Whoo! All right, barely. Barely beat him. Was that the finish him? I think that was the finish him time. Smell the farts. Thanks for practicing. Oh, that was just the easy mode. I go and play at the competitive level. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. This animal was severely hurt in the making of this game. Rest in peace, Lockjaw. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Game Pretty cool. All right, let's see what they improved. I got. We got to see now. What did they improve with the sculptor's edition? Let's find out. You gotta get me. That may have been all to the tale, but Dr. Kiln planned to prevail and re-release the meteor's goo and 
sent more fighters on the loose. Clay fighter. They punch and kick and they do tricks. Clay fighter. Our summer made his heart as brands. So can grin from ear to ear, Clay Moto. I'll just quakes in fear, but none of our heroes have their way. And force the evil goons to pay. Clay fighter. Let's blow by blow, no turning back. Clay fighter. Living but on the attack, but who will win the final match? Dude, that, that is a good intro, dude. All right, we're gonna put it on easy again. Uh, we'll put it on not. We'll, we won't do clicky. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do normal. Normal easy. All right. So this is the upgraded version, basically. Uh, no earthworm gem, though. Maybe you have to unlock them. Let's try this. Uh, let's try this. This undead guy right here. Oh, it's an evil scientist. Alright, so it's the same level. Let's get ready to crumble! Vo voice audio is way better. Alright, let's see how it plays. Oh, way smoother. Way smoother. Way smoother, yeah. Way smoother gameplay. Frame rate's way higher. Yeah, this is a big improvement. Did he just drop Chinese food on the ground when I hit him, dude? He did. You guys can rewind it back. He totally did. I wish you would quit running from me. What is he doing there? He waved a little white flag. That was brilliant. The monkey. The monkey. Oh, that was okay, that was a pretty good little combo I got on. Combo. <laughs> no stereotypes. Little girl combo, dude. <laughs> I, I want Earthworm Jim, though. Well, why'd they take him out of the game? I bet you can unlock him. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's do... Poo Poo Platter. That's what he's saying when he does that. Oh my gosh. Alright, we got him. He just made a martini, I think. Game plus box home improvement, Super Nintendo, $350? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. That's enough Clay Fighter. Cool, though. I like it. Great game, actually. I think. I think they're both really good. Like, yeah, they did improvement improve it with the... Um, uh, Sculptor's Cut, but I think that was a pretty good game, both versions. I liked it. I, I would play that game all the way through, and I might do that one day. That was cool. Uh, thanks for showing that to me, Graham. Uh, did you own that game back in the day? Next up is Mujin. Mujin super chatted for a link to the past. All right, Mujin, you're up next. Let me get it pulled up here. Super Nintendo, where are you? All right, uh, Legend of Zelda. Let's get to the L's. Here it is. A masterpiece, boys. A masterpiece. The 90s were awesome. I agree. Remember when everyone laughed at racial tension and jokes? Good times, good times. Then what culture took over? I know. And things were getting better, I feel like. I feel like when we just were, you know... I feel like things were getting better. I feel like now they're worse. I feel like it's made it worse. Alright, new game. Of course, we're just going to go with Link. Oh, not... No, no. I need to go back. Oh my gosh, I just made it way too many Ks. You're not allowed to do that many Ks. That was an accident. Hang on. 
not allowed to do that many caves on the internet. All right, hang on. That was a mistake. Okay, end. Help me. Please help me. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard, Aganem, has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aganem has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Link, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. Yes, Dad. Immediately leaves the house. Immediately. After we open this. Alright, alright. We got the lamp. Immediately leaves the house. Look at this rain, bro. The lightning. Oh, it's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. Alright, we don't have our sword yet. Let's head for that castle. The dream told me to. Dude, you want to tell me this wasn't some amazing graphics back then, dude? This was absolutely insanity. I didn't even have a Super Nintendo yet. I had to go to my cousin's house where he had one. This game made me be like, dang, dude. I don't know if Sega Genesis could do this. This is pretty good. You know, to be quite honest. They did, though. They did pull off a game this good. But at the time, I didn't know if they could. Dad! Uh, Link! I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power in the blade. Hold the B button. Then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Link, you can do it! Save the Princess Zelda! It's yours! He didn't get to finish. He died. Dad! Dad, no! Dad, no! The rain just blew my mind, yeah. So smooth. It's just so smooth. Alright, it's time to go into the castle proper now. Here we go. Is it his uncle? I don't remember. I think, I thought he thought it was his dad, right? Um... Let me think. I don't think this way. I think we gotta go around. Oop. Oop. Oh, dang it. Okay, we got our heart back. Yeah, this is, uh... I don't know, maybe we can go this way. Nope, maybe not. Alright, I think we gotta go around. The dramatic voice things I was missing from this game. I'll take that heart. Alright, let's smash this guy in the face. Ugh. Still feels good, dude. After all those years, it still feels good. I don't remember where we're supposed to go. We'll figure it out. Is there a treasure or something down here? I haven't played this game in ages. Nope. This is where you get into the guy later. Right here in the middle. Yeah. You gotta have the uh You've got to get you've got to go get deep in the forest and the woods. You gotta get the master sword to break that open. Maybe it is down there. Let's see what's in here. You gotta go down the basement, right? 
Yeah, you do. Yeah, 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 you gotta go down the basement. Alright, let's go down here then. I know he's in there. I know he's under there. Oh, dang it, I couldn't see him. Okay, I think this is the right way. Right, here we go. Doom. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom. Doom. Ah! Okay, got the key. Got the map. Knock him off! Ha <laughs> ha! I love that back in the kid. When I was a kid, like, seeing him be like, Woo! And remember how the dungeons would have, like, multiple layers? Where you could, like, jump down through a hole and be on the bottom layer and stuff? That was pretty cool for the time. Ha <laughs> ha! You stupid idiot. Oh crap! He knocked me off! Oh crap! Oh crap! Alright, alright. We gotta get a little better at this. I gotta work, get my Zelda skills back up. I'm a little better at Ocarina of Time. Come on, need a heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I wish they would make another Zelda where it's like the Dark World again. Like, they've been similar things. Like, in Ocarina of Time, you got the grown-up and the little kid world. Um... They've done similar things, but I'd like to see them just return back to this, right? Where you just got, like, a dark world and a light world. That was just... Why not? It's been a long time. Do it again. Okay, do we have a key? Nope. Ah, I bet you that's where the key is. Oh, dang it. Now, oh, come on. There's the key. Boomerang, baby! Let's put the... Let's get that out. There we go. Alright. We need some hearts. I think we're headed for the boss. Oh, it just freezes him. That's right. Oh boy, there he is, the little mini boss. Hang on, let's get some hearts. I'm gonna hit him if he comes around that door. Come on, poke out, buddy, poke out. Boom! Okay, get out of the way! Little punk. You little punk, you want some of this? Ha ha, you ain't, you ain't nothing! You ain't nothing! Okay, this is the master key of the dungeon. Hope me to lock. Small keys cannot. Princess Zelda, thank you, Link. I had a feeling you had you were getting close. Link, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path. But first, we have to go to the first floor. Let's go, Link. Let's go. All right. Diablo, one of the PlayStation. I don't have very many PlayStation games. I need to get an upgrade. Um, a big, big old fat hard drive to get CD-based games. They take up a ton of space. So to get all the PlayStation games would be... A lot of space um, that I don't currently have. But that's this game, you know, we make money, etc. One day I'll be able to one day I'll be able to afford to upgrade it. You could co-op on the PS1 on Diablo 1. I didn't know that. I remember Diablo 1 being on the PlayStation. I had a friend who was obsessed with it, but I never 
I didn't get a PlayStation until PlayStations weren't in style anymore. Uh, I had a Sega Saturn. I played PlayStation, other people's houses, etc. I, oh, oh, I remember where I'm taking her. I remember. It took me a second. We need to go. I think, actually, if I would have kept going that way, there's a shortcut, but whatever. I just now remember where I gotta go with her. Punk. Alright, here we go, here we go. Almost there. We're almost there. This game is so good, dude. I could literally just play this game all the way back through all over again, dude. I just all over again. It's so good. It's infectious. All the Zelda games are good, too. Every single freaking one of them is fantastic. Is that the door right there, I think? I thought there was a spot to jump off here. Yeah, there is. Here we go. alley -oop. I think this is the right way. Yeah, yeah, Oh no, we're going the wrong way. We're going back where we came. It must be up there and up through there then. My bad. I haven't played in a while. Ooh, I can't see him. It's gotta be this way. Right? Oh my gosh, where do I go? I forgot. Hang on. We gotta find that main room. Okay. Alright, let's get down here. Don't know what I've done wrong. Oh, oh, we're on the we're on the right side. That's what it is. Okay. Just seek a passion in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. Okay, let's get to the throne room. It's right up here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, dang it, come on, man. Alright. Now we gotta move this out of the way. The ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it to the left. The CDI Zelda's did? Okay, but those weren't made by Nintendo. Those don't count. Those don't count. Those were made by some random company that Nintendo accidentally gave the rights to. That, that don't count, dude. And anyway, those are still good games, just, you know, if you're in the mood for a comedy, you know? Alright, let's switch back to this so we can light some of these. Do I have to kill all these? I don't remember. Seems like there's at least some point... You have to kill them all, it drops a key or something. Might be wrong about that. Alright, here we go, here we go. And look at this little flashlight effect, too. This blew my mind back in the day. How it, like, gets a little... You know what I'm saying? How they did that effect? It's pretty cool. Ooh, now we need the key. Okay. Here we go. Easy peasy. After passing through these sewers, we'll be very close to the sanctuary. Let's be careful. Oh, these snake guys in the dark. Now 
There, we got him. The, one of these rooms has snakes in it that will absolutely tear you up. I think it's... Is it this room? Oh, I heard him. I heard a rattler. I heard that rattlesnake. Maybe not. Oh, dang it. Oh, we got the key. Here we go. Ooh, and we got a bomb, but we don't have one right now. Can't those mice, like, steal some of your gold or something? And run off with it, I thought, I remembered. No, I'm thinking of an NPC that can do it. I think there was a Zelda where they could. Was it Wind Waker where the mice could do that? Alright, here we go. Almost there, I think. There's that room with the switch coming up, which I always forget which one you're supposed to press. I think it's the one on the right. I think I left the coffee pot on. Sanctuary is, ju is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. She yeah, but which one? But which one, lady? I don't remember. I think it's this one. You have to pull the lever to open the door. Blah, blah, blah. I know, I know, I know. I was right. If you pull the other one, bad guys fall on top of you. Oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Princess Zelda, you are safe! Is this your doing, Link? Yes, it was Link who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard said, Once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open! Link, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. Or mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I'm certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Do you understand? Yes. And also, what's in the treasure? Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me, sir. Oh, yeah, baby. Meet the elder of the village and get the master sword. Link, be careful out there. I know you can save Hyrule. All right, we're going to save it. Great freaking game. I don't even remember how to save. I forgot how to save. Dying Blows, to get to my paladin brother, Act Razor 2, Super Nintendo. That game is hard as crap, isn't it? It is a good game. All right, that's coming up, Dime Blows. Uh, Okay, here's how you save. All right, we're going to save it in case somebody ever recommends that excellent game in the future. Look at this also, the 3D effects on the Triforce, bro. Blowing minds, blowing minds back in 1991. Blowing minds. Mm. Yes. It's beautiful. All right. Act Razor 2, Super Nintendo. Uh, didn't we play this already? <laughs> didn't we do this? All right, Dimos. I think you're up next, too. You are, you are. All right, Act Razor 2. Here we go. You got it, brother. You got it. I think Actraiser 1 was better than Actraiser 2. Am I right? Is that true? I feel like that's what my memory's telling me. Okay, Actraiser, where are you? Actraiser 2. There it is. 
Awesome game, dude. Yeah. All right, here we go. Enix, back before square, bottom out. Thank you, Dimos. Appreciate that super chat. Thanks for the big one, too. So we got to give it a real, got to give it a real chance here. Whew. Look at me customize here. Final options you got for me. Game level? Yeah, we're turning that down. We're turning that down. We'll put that on easy mode. All right, here we go. Wizards and Warriors was better than both, in my opinion. Wizards and Warriors on the Nintendo? On the regular Nintendo? Ripped and torn, the slain body of Tanjiro was returned to the underworld. Feeding on the intense hatred each held for the master. Thirteen of Tanzer's most feared and powerful demons joined together. With their combined power, they raised the spirit of their mighty leader. Tanzer, vowing revenge, unleashed these demons upon the land below. Move the Sky Palace into a land name appears and press the A button. I will give you a brief explanation of the land you have selected. Together, we must combine our power and rid this land of Tanzer forever he would pick Wii games but they're but they're not on here yeah NES that game is hard as crap too dude um diligence yeah okay the people here used to work very hard at keeping this land healthy it was once famous for its beautiful forests and rivers one day these people lost their desire not only to work but also to live you may find answers to what has happened by exploring the town of Vindustin. That's it? How do we go to a freaking level? Let's see. Uh, there we go, Vindustin. Master, a strange cloud seems to appear, followed by rainfall, then disappear. Please try to locate the reason for this. Master, please prepare yourself for battle. Are you ready? Yes. May luck be with you. I'm going to love this. I'm not being sarcastic. Okay. All right. All right. I don't know if I've played part two. This doesn't ring any bells yet. I remember the first one. I do like this character. Okay. What all can I do here? Oh, what was that? Ooh. Ooh. That's fan. Ooh, goblins. Sick. I love these graphics, dude. Oh, I can jump on the mushroom? And I'm getting, X I'm getting XP for this, too, I think. What the heck is that? Freaking weird caterpillar coming at me. Goblins are kind of unpredictable. What's that? One MP? I got some magic points. I can cast magic. Oh, snap. I didn't expect him to jump down on top of me. What about that flying? Oh, crap. I messed up. Oh, yes. You can slice up. Fantastic. Uh, never mind. This is better than Actraiser 1. I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't know why I thought that. This is definitely an improvement over the first one. Oh! Oh, jeez. How the heck am I supposed to dodge that? Oh, my gosh. What can I do? Okay, I can fly up. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe... Nope, nope. That ain't gonna work. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how to dodge that. I have no idea how to dodge that. I have no freaking idea. Maybe stand back and duck. Maybe. Let's see if we can figure out how to dodge that. Get behind him? Oh, she just wasted. I don't know. If, I don't think. I don't think you can get behind him, can you? Is that a guess or is that a fact? I 
I don't feel like I can jump. I'm mean, getting my butt kicked by these now. I hope I keep kept my experience, at least. Why is there a stereo system laying out here? Did you guys see that? Okay. Oh, dang it. Quick beat this for- Okay, I can stand back here. Okay. But then I can't hit him. Dang it. How the heck am I supposed to beat this guy? Oh my gosh, he charges me. I have no idea. You don't have, like, a lot of mobility in this guy. I don't think I'm going to get past this part. It's not most... I, I, like, there's not a lot of mobility in this game. Like, I've got this jump, but he does it over and over again. I don't know if I even understand. You know what I mean? Like, you don't you don't have a... Like, you move really slow, so it doesn't... It feels impossible. Anybody know how you're supposed to actually fight that guy? Is there, like, maybe another ability? I'm pressing all the buttons. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my butt kicked out here by these guys. Oh my gosh, why did he jump down so fast? It was like a one frame, he was on top of me. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm getting hit by literally everything now. <laughs> no, LNR don't do anything. Lazy D says jump. Think you had the right idea about ducking? Yeah, but then he just charged me, and uh, what do I do about that? I can't jump that far. Maybe I can with double jump. Okay, maybe that is the tactic. But then, when do I hit him? Okay, this works. Okay, here he comes. Okay, that did work. Okay, hit him a couple times and get over here, maybe. Dang it, dude. See what I'm saying? Like, the guy's so slow, it doesn't... It just feels impossible. If he moved faster, he's just so slow. I've almost had a hit points already. Okay. I don't know about this. Hit him and hide at the other end. I mean... It doesn't... It feels impossible, guys. It, look how slow he moves. It just feels like you, you can't do it. Start a fight, get behind the boss. Okay, I'll try it. Stupid goblin. Like, what am I supposed to do? It's, there's nothing I can do about him. Alright, I'm gonna try to jump over... Oh my gosh, what was that? What is he doing? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try to... Nope, that didn't work. I don't know what you're supposed to do about those goblins, bro. Maybe just hit them as they're falling. Let's try that. Come on, dude. You don't fall when I got my sword. There we go. That's how you do it. Alright. There we go. Okay. That's how we don't get hit by them. Okay. I'm gonna try to cheese them. Okay. Let's see if I can get behind him. Oh my gosh, how do you get behind him? Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, I can't... He's. It hurts me to be back here. See what I mean? I'm gonna die. Shoot, that doesn't work, bro. That don't work. He didn't even jump. He didn't even double jump. He just dumps, thrusts the sword downward again and again. Oh, downward? Like that? we we'll watching someone do it now. Like that? Behind him? I'm going to get hit every time I go down, aren't I? Okay, I'll try it. I don't see how I'm not going to take damage every time, though. Over and over again. So just boom, boom. All right, all right, I'll try it. I like the graphics in this game. 
I just feel like they should have made the character move a little bit quicker. Like, this is really slow to where you you actually feel like there's nothing you can do about anything. You know what I mean? Like, typically in games like this, you move a little faster because it gives you that mobility. Oh, my gosh. It gives you that mobility to make you actually feel like you can move around and dodge things. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's try that tactic. Here we go. I'm going to try. Oh, my gosh. Hey, he moved. I'm just... It's not... Oh, well, I guess that does a lot of damage. All right, well, that worked. All right. No run button, no. There is a block. No, there's not. That's just his pose. Um, no, no run. Ooh, got some platforming now. All right. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I like that frog in the swamp. That's cool looking. Can I jump up there? I'm scared to do anything. All right. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, the frog just jumped up and freaking bit at me. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Shoot. And that hurts. Oh my gosh. Okay, that worked. That worked. What if I can just... Oh, nope. Can't do that. I need some help. How the heck am I supposed to do this? Okay. Oh my gosh, he came back! Bull crap! Bull crap! Come on! Yeah, the art is great. No doubt. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. Alright, we gotta try again. Um, this is... Like, this is so close to being an absolute great game. Like, if they just made the mobility a little bit better. Like, you're, you're, you're too slow. You're too slow. This is like that close to just being one of the greatest games ever. But at least you're not know to beat that guy. But we gotta take a ton of damage on him. You know what I mean? There should be a way to do it where we don't have to take almost all of our damage. You know what I mean? At least we don't fall for any of this dumb stuff anymore. There's got to be a way to beat that guy. It just doesn't take freaking half your damage. There's got to be. Okay. Ugh! So annoying. See, like, I don't... Oh my gosh, why'd you come back? Why did they do that? I don't want repops in my freaking 2D game. Oh, wasting health. You're wasting my health. Okay. Okay, here we go again. Okay, that downward thrust does do a lot of damage, though. That is... Okay, okay. I seem like that worked a little better that time. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, way better. Way better. Okay, okay. Way better. Way better. We only took a little bit of damage that time. Alright, we're getting the hang of it. Oh no, I messed up. I wish they didn't repop. That stupid frog's gonna come. Ugh. Oh my gosh, dude. I was trying to land on the mushroom. It's slippery when you land. Freaking frog, dude. I love the way he looks, but that frog's annoying. Oh! Oh my gosh! We died! It's freaking annoying. Oh my gosh! You made me do the whole thing again? You made me fight the boss again, too? This game is brutally ridiculous. Come on! You couldn't start me after the boss? Come on, you stupid goblin. Oh! God, 
Golly, dude, you can't even duck under them. I just feel like there was a lot of missed opportunities when you're making this game to not make it as annoying. I love the graphics a lot. Look at the little water dripping off of that. Oh, shoot. A little bit of, a lot of bit of luck involved in that fight. All right. Now, what in the crap am I supposed to do about this dumb frog? Only thing I'd think of is I'd just run quick and take a bunch of damage. Because he's going to tear me up, dude. Oh my gosh, the sliding is so freaking annoying when you land. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's freaking impossible. So when you fly and you glide down, he slides when he lands. Why, developers? Why would you do that? Why would you make you slide when you land on things? It's a platforming. Why? That's not fun. Like, I'm fairly decent at platforming, but not when I slide 10 feet and the mushroom's one foot long. Why, devs? Okay, come on down, you dumb goblin. He's a paladin. I don't care. He's a he's a slow paladin. He needs to learn that. He needs to he needs to work on his leg day, so he's a little faster. It's a cool game, but it's an this is an annoying game too. Like, why would they make the landing slide? Why? Look at this. He see that? Why? Who did that? There we go. That really is. That was that was the best of EQOA. That makes it way better. Gotta watch out for them respawns. I know, dude. Why are they doing respawns? Why? Love respawns in MMOs. Hate respawns in a 2D platformer. Cause frog, bro. There's just nothing I can do about him. He's just gonna tear me up. I can't even land on this. Cause look, he slides right off. He slides right off. There's nothing you can do. Then you take damage all the way across. Oh my gosh. That is the most aggravating thing, dude. Did you literally see that? Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to take damage trying to kill this guy. I hate the way this guy lands, dude. It makes me not want to use double jump at all. And I have no idea how to do this. Oh my gosh, the respawn! Dimeless. Bro. What are you doing to me, dude? A speed run of this game? Hell no. The longest run of this game. I really like the graphics a lot. That's, that's what's really holding my attention here. I do not like this gameplay at all. It's just so close to being great. It's so close. I'm gonna go back and play Act Razor 1. Uh, after I play, after I try, my I don't think I'll ever make it past those two goblins. How in the world, with this crappy controls, would I possibly do that? I want to see if I if I was right. I'm starting to think I was right. The Act Razor one is better. I I, I th usually when I when I have something like that in my brain, there's a good reason. All right, here we go again. Come on, dude. Alright. Took my obligatory damage. I truly thought you would like it. Did you really? You like this game? You think this is fair? You think this is fair? You think this is fair right here? You, you played this game, you're like, yep. Yeah, it's perfect. I love falling off of platforms that, and dying to frogs in a swamp and nothing I can do about it. Like, you're just gonna die. You like that. Dimos likes that. Oh my gosh. How do we get on your Discord? Yeah, thank you, Koa, for posting it. Appreciate it. 
Alright. Am I at least leveling up? Am I at least leveling up? I don't see any way to tell. Please tell me I'm at least getting stronger. It doesn't seem like it. Still gotta hit those stupid flies three times. Come on down, Goblin. Okay. Alright. Let's try to tear this guy up again. Hmm. Okay, we got him, we got him. Okay, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Does anybody have any strategies for this swamp part? Anybody being like, no, man, I bet if you did this. How in the living crap am I supposed to do this? The frogs start eating me right away. I have to double jump there, but when I double jump, I land, I slide off, see? He likes the weed that should taste something about tasting games. Dude, there's no get good. How, please tell me how any human is supposed to get through that swamp part. You have to double jump to a little mushroom this big, but when you land on the mushroom, you slide off. You slide a good 10 feet. You slide a good 10 feet, you're gonna fall in the swamp. Then you get hurt every time jumping there. And then there's two goblins shooting both ways. The jump is slow. How would you possibly, how would you possibly get any further than that? I have no idea. I have no idea. Using the Wii remote? <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time, bro, but I just, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get stuck at the same part. Like, how, first of all, that swamp part is garbage. It's garbage. I, somebody download the simulator right now and you do it. I dare you. I, I'm telling you, the controls are bad. And also, it doesn't even make sense. Like, what, what, what are you supposed to do? Because look, what, let me show you guys again. Maybe you guys don't understand. Watch this. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get die trying to show you. Hang on, hang on. Look when you when you when you do a double jump, that means you're gonna fly down, right? Double jump, he automatically flies down. Now watch watch how far he scoots. Oh my gosh, Goblin, I'm trying to give an example here. Watch. You see that? He scoots like from here to here. That's longer than the mushroom. That's that's a longer scoot than the mushroom. Who designs their game where you scoot when you land? Who does that? Not good. It's not good. I'm gonna try it again, but uh, I just don't see how it's possible. And I hate that you can't duck under anything. Like, I'm gonna show you a game like this that did it way better. I'm gonna show you a game just like this. Very, well, not just like it, but very similar. Very similar, but did it way better. Right after this. Right after I give it one more shot. Can you break out of diving? I don't think so. Oh, you can. Okay, that's how you do it. Thank you, thank you, Mujin. That helps. Alright, let's try that. But why would they do that? Alright, let's try to beat this guy. Just take some damage sometimes. It's just uh, not well designed. Alright, here we go. Okay, that's how you gotta do it. You gotta press jump a bunch of times in the air, and he will stop. Crap. Stop! Frogs beat me up. Alright, now I don't even know where it's at now. Dang it. This just sucks. This just sucks. This is just garbage. All right, all right, I can't take no more. It's so bad, it's so bad, it's so bad. I can't take it. All right, let me show you somebody that did a similar game, but it doesn't suck. Um, I think it starts with an A. What was that game called? Uh, here it is, here it is. Here's a game that did a similar style of gameplay, but it doesn't suck. It's got good controls. It's still hard, it's still hard. 
but it doesn't suck. H have you ever played this game? Oh, Game Arts made it. No wonder. Game Arts, people make Grandia. I didn't remember that. Never heard of this one? <clears throat> Similar, but way better. Way better. Now, I may start playing, but never mind, this sucks. But back in the day, the Silver Star fell from the sky, unleashing evil and destruction for the second time. The one person who can save the world must seek out this object. Anybody in chat remember this game? Alicia Dragoon, I think it's called. Like, I know... Here we go, stage one. Here we go. And you get a dragon. Alright, here we go. Let me, let me remember the controls. It's gonna take me a second. I don't know what I... Okay, alright. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Hang on. Okay, jump. Okay, maybe it doesn't have very much in common at all. Still gotta figure out how to play it. I forgot she cast magic. I thought she had a sword. Great music, too. Got the bronze dragon now, shooting fireballs. You see how fast she moves? Like, you actually feel like you have a chance against stuff. Like, even when I get hit, I feel like it's my fault. You know what I mean? Golly, I can't get that guy. Dragon attack. Did I not pick it? I don't know what I just did. My dragon's gone. Hang on. Let's see what this one is. Okay. Now I got my fireball out. I think. What does he do? Alright. Okay. Maybe it's not very similar. I was wrong. I could have sworn. Maybe there's a part two. I could have sworn that this game, I had a sword. Or I'm thinking of a different game altogether. Yeah, it's not very similar at all, it turns out. It's a great game, though. Oh, I did remember that it was a great game. I could have sworn you just had a sword. Okay, I'm switching back to the dragon. Dang it. Dang it, I'm stuck. All right, slimes. Anyway, that doesn't have absolutely nothing to do with, uh, it turns out. Turns out that, that was not a good example at all. Uh, it, it didn't even, uh, it didn't even come close to being similar to, uh, the same kind of game at all. Uh, but anyway. Uh, hey, Dimos, why don't you pick another game, bro? Pick another Paladin game. Did you read the instruction booklet? No, I did not. Uh, pick another game, bro. 
I, I can't let that be the game you pick for twenty bucks, and uh, we can't. I can't let you go down like that. And for Palpatine with the dragon, can't let you go down with that. While you're waiting, I, I just want to see what this game is, because if I was a kid and I was seeing this cover, I would have totally wanted to get this game. So pick another one. Pick another one. Pick another one. Dimeless. It can have paladins, not have paladins. Ooh, look at this. I would have already loved this game. If I would have been a kid, I would have seen this right here and been like, I'm in love. Don't give a crap. Don't give a crap. I love this game. Dragons flying through the sky. Oh, dude. What is this game? Kid Chameleon. Coming up next. Dude, what is this? Where's this game been all my life? Excuse me. A long time ago, a sorceress named Castamira lived in a place called Arcus, and she plotted a scheme to destroy the whole world. The sorceress planned to use her dark magic to remake the world according to her own design. She conquered many lands and brought chaos to the lives of innocent people everywhere. Many brave warriors died trying to stop her, but only one person had the courage and strength to confront the sorceress. This is sweet music, dude. This is sweet music, dude. Maniac Mansion? Maniac Mansion? That horror game? A good princess called Leedy rose up to stop the wicked Castamoria. Leedy commanded the magical powers of light, and she brought these forces to bear on Castamira. Leedy and Castamira clashed in the most powerful battle ever recorded, ever, in ancient history. The shock waves from the battle utterly destroyed the lands around them. Look how sweet these cutscenes are, bro. This is 16-bit glory. What? Where was this game? How have I never heard of this? What? Look at that! That looks freaking cool! What the heck? I've never even heard of this game. What is this? After days of fighting, Lady was victorious, and Castamira was confirmed, confined to the Dark World. In order to seal Castamira's fate, Lady forged a magical sword that would bind Castamira forever. This sword came to be called the Power of Lady. This sword has been guarded for centuries by the kings of Arcus, and has been the symbol of peace for the people. Now that peace is threatened again, as the Power of Lady has been stolen by the followers of the wicked sorcerers, Castamira grows stronger. Do you, do you guys see how sweet this is? I don't see anybody in chat being like, wow, this looks crazy. <laughs> do you, am I the only one blown away? A long time ago. This was cool freaking cutscenes, bro. Arcus Odyssey. Dude, now that's an intro, bro. Now that's a 16-bit intro, man. Alright. It is dope. Yeah, whoa. We pick a character? Uh, totally going with the paladin here. Act one, Lady's power. Up. Uh, what? Is it an RPG? An action or how do I fight? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay. It's like an action RPG, maybe. Let me know when you're back, Dimeless. I've never even heard of this game. Ooh, that looks cool. Well, they're coming up behind me, too. dungeon now. Huh! Look at him, he's like, Rrr. You have taken the medicine of regeneration. Oh, 
Ah, oh, Genesis. Yeah, this Genesis, yeah. This game is on Super Nintendo too. Orca Odyssey. You knew about this game? Looks like an action RPG. This game is dope. Yeah, this game is dope. I've never even heard of it. That intro is freaking awesome. Whoa, look at the frog. Oh! Now this is, now this is how you do frog battles. Behind the waterfall? Ooh, treasure. Master of regeneration? I think there's a frog coming out of the water right there. Oh, oh, what was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's some slimes. Okay, this is a dead end, right? Oh, shoot. They like their frogs, apparently, back in the back in the 90s, I guess. Isn't this the way I came? Maybe not. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, he's shaking the whole ground. That's a big boy frog. Oh my gosh, another one. Oh, his tongue got me. His tongue got me. Dude, this game is cool as crap. This is a cool game. Even the game over was fancy. Look at that! <coughs> oh, we gotta do Streets of Rage, yeah. Is that almost back yet? I really like this game, dude. I'm this you know what this feels like? It feels like you know how somebody will like make a Sega Genesis game like today? You know, like, uh, I can't think of any examples, but, um, there's a few of them where, where, like, they'll release a Sega Genesis game today and, like, take full advantage of the hardware. Like, that's what this game reminds me of. This, this feels like a game that, like, it's too good to have been made for the time. Like, the, the, I'm, I'm, that's a cool game. I like that. I've never even, I've never even heard it. If I'd have seen that box art, though, as a kid... I would have, I would have gotten it. I would have begged for it. I would have absolutely begged for it. Um, just because the box art looks cool. All right, I don't think Dimeless is back yet. Um, we're gonna save. What what game did he say? By the way, did he say Maniac Mansion? He did. He did. All right, let's go ahead and find it. He should be back in a second. Um, Maniac Mansion. I know of this game, but I, I don't think I ever played it. Isn't this like a puzzle game? It's like a horror. Where's it at? There's Little Nemo. Um... Oh, look, dude. Mick Kids. MC Kids. Mick Kids. The, the McDonald's game. Is Damos back? Damos sitting back. Let's play the McDonald's game while we wait for Damos. <laughs> this game is ridiculous, dude. Asterix. That game is so dope. Yeah. You had this game? I didn't play this game until I was an adult. Steve told me about it, actually. I was like, what? 1991, McDonald's. Alright, we're gonna go to one player. Look at that cutscene, bro. The little frog. This is 8-bit power. Actually, like, I, I, if I remember right, I thought it was a good game too. I can't remember. Ronald was showing off his magic bag. So that's what happened, Ronald McDonald. That's why we don't hear about him no more. At a picnic in the meadow, when all of a sudden... Help! Help! The Hamburglar has run off with my magic bag! Please help us get it back! Search the levels of my clubhouse and retrieve at least four of my puzzle cards. If you come back to my house with four cards, I will show you how to get to Birdie's house. Freaking. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a world map like Super Mario Brothers 3, dude. Since I gave you a Mario 3 knockoff. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Graphics aren't bad for a Nintendo game. Can I ride that? I don't think I can. You gotta unlock it. I like how I'm collecting McDonald's logos. 
Oh, it doesn't control as good as Mario. How do you make it jump further? Am I just not pressing at the right time? Can I jump on the head of that? Oh gosh. Nope, nope, that don't work. You can scroll, you can run pretty fast, actually. I mean, I don't blame them for trying to rip off Mario Brothers 3. It's kind of like one of the best games ever made, so. It does feel like a... What's going on here? What? Oh, we beat it. Gotta grab the block to jump higher, I think. It's been 30 years. Oh, there was a block to grab? This Center Game City. Yo Noid, yeah, we played that on here. Yeah, Yo Noid was fun. I had fun with Yo Noid. I'm gonna grab what? Oh, this block. Oh. And then I could just put it in there? Oh! Oh, I see, I see. Alright, come back to me. Did I actually go back in the same level? I think I did. Alright, but now we know some secrets. Let's get the McDonald's points. Let me know when you're back, Dimeless. So you can pick up the blocks and throw them, probably. Yep, yep. So a little bit of Mario Brothers 2, I'm feeling here. Okay. Oh, I bounced right over his head. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Doki Doki Panic, you know it. Alright, we're going to next level. How weird that McDonald's actually made a game, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a piece of crap, either. Like, it's a legitimate, it's a legitimate Nintendo game. Like, we just lived in some weird times when we were kids, guys. That's all there is to it. We lived in some, some freaking weird times, man. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, got it. That that thing I just killed, that's that's what the McRib is made out of. That's what they were trying that was the lore behind this game if you read the instruction manual. Oh, I got one of his magic cards. Dude, run on me, Don's gonna be so proud of me. Boy's got that make belly. They did make him have a belly look. <laughs> did say someone's McDonald's that his shirt he's got that belly poke out, bro. I get that too. I feel I feel this guy. I get the same thing, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel for him. See his little belly's po poking out. That was unnecessary, McDonald's. What Hey, at least they were honest, you know? Oh, can you swim? Or will I die automatically? Okay, since I had to jump in this, I think it's automatic death. Oh, oh. Is that thing gonna jump for me? We're getting some deep McDonald's lore here, I know, dude. I know, dude, this is serious. This is serious. <laughs> the little high five right there. All right, lazy leaves. All right, let's kill this guy so we can make some more McRibs. That's why the McRib isn't always available, guys. Oh crap! It keeps bouncing over him. Oh jeez. Like somebody made the song, right, for a McDonald's video game. I cannot land on that. And you know what? I kind of like it. I would listen to this in my car. I would bump this in my car. Like on a road trip, you know? You're like, going down the road like...
Dude, I would totally bump this in my car, dude. All right, you're back, Daimless. All right, I'm gonna try to beat this this level right here, and then we're going to Maniac Ma Maniac uh, Mansion. We're playing the McDonald's game, bro. Oh, I keep thinking I can jump on their heads. Okay, I could have done without the bouncing part of the. Oh, whoa! What the heck is that? What was that? What kind of bird was that, dude? That actually scares me. What was that? That was terrifying. It had like the face of a man or something. That was creepy. What was that? He yeah, has better music than he has any real right to. Uh, agreed. It really does. It really does. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 Thomas. I was about to keep playing. All right, Maniac Mansion. I that is a good game. The McKids game, pretty good. It's pretty freaking good. I like it. It's a good game. Uh, that's also a good game. Little Samson. We already played that. Where's your Maniac Mansion at? Shouldn't it be right here? Oh, these have dots. I see. It's Elm Dot Mick. Elm C Kids. Uh, that's why. Okay, here we go. Maniac Mansion. Have I even played this before? Oh, God. Oh, no, Dimeless. This is a, one of those LucasArts games. I'm so bad at these. I, I never figured these out. I never figured... All right, here we go. Hopefully somebody out in chat. All right can help me out with the puzzles. I'm so bad at these. Oh, no. Yeah, it's weird because it's not strongly branded for it being one of their games. Just a couple of things thrown in. Yeah, it's just like they, they just were like, let's make a cool game. Ooh, this is good. Dude, this is top notch 8 bit music, bro. Top notch. That's good. That's really good. Okay, be sure to hold down the reset button and turn off your power for your. Oh, this one had a save, that means. Okay, back to the mansion. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Um, back to the mansion. Restore save game. New game. All right, we're going new game, obviously. This game deserves a remake. Told you, you were right, bro. That was good. 20 years ago today. Yeah, I've never played this. I've heard a lot about it. Ooh. All the lights come on. Here we go. Oh, so good. 1990. Please choose the two other kids. Besides, uh, wait, I'm picking her. Okay, there we go. Razor, leader of the band Razor and the Scummets. And the, and the nerd. Bernard Geek Award winner and Physics Club president. That's what I want. Okay, this looks like the old mansion. I'm sure I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. It's up to us to get her out. This could be dangerous. Oh, it's gonna be dangerous. If anyone wants out. Okay, I'm out of here. What? Is he joking? Bernard, don't be a tuna head. Rancid? That's one of my favorite bands when I was, when I was younger, dude. Yeah, Out Come the Wolves, yep. Okay. I heard Dr. Fred was kind of cute. Oh my gosh. So, how do we get in the mansion? Um, we can try looking for a key under the doormat. Wait, why are they going to the mansion again? 
We're just breaking in somebody's house. Okay, let's go rescue Sandy. Oh, because somebody's stuck in there. Alright. Let's see here. I just click to move. How's this work? CD player? CD? 1990? I guess there was CDs back then. Okay. Do I need to select them? What? How do I move? Oh, okay. I see. Um, but what if I want them all to come? How do I... Are they just gonna follow me? Okay, here we go. Um, are they gonna follow me? <laughs> Eminem is nothing on this sick ass skybox. Do I need to go back and get them? But how do I go back to them? New kid? Okay. I see. Okay. Can I walk back there? Interesting graphic style. It actually looks good. Really big pixels. You don't see that a lot in Nintendo. Check the mailbox. Um, open the mailbox, maybe? Um, get? Got, how do I tell it? I can't pick that up. Um, no. Use the mailbox? With... What? With... What do you mean? That's... Hmm. Okay, maybe that wasn't the answer. Okay, they did say something about the doormat. So... Pull? Doormat? Did something happen? Oh, key. Yeah, get it. Get the key. Okay, I see. Get. Key. Alright, we got it. We got it, boys. This game you scared the living crap out of me as a kid. The danger music terrified me. These games honestly always confused everyone, yeah. Alright, new kid. Bernard. Alright, let's get our nerd over here. Okay. Now, I don't know if we share inventory or not. Alright, let's get her to open the door. She has the key. The door is locked. Yeah, I just got the key. Use... There it is. Key. No, use the key. In door. There we go. You captured, those are your backups. Oh! Snap, okay. Go to grandfather clock. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pull that clock. I can't move it. Okay. Why don't you pull this vase? can't move it. Why wouldn't you be able to move that? Alright, open this door. Okay. That worked. Go to flashlight. Get flashlight. Okay. That's going to come in handy. Go to stove. Alright, I'm just going to leave her here. Okay, because that's where women belong. Um, let me go back over today. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Alright, let's get him in. I'm gonna ring him a different way. <laughs> that was a good joke. That was a good joke. You got, you got it. That was really good. Alright. Let's open this door. Mm -hmm. 
the whole teens, the whole 80s teen going into Scary Mansion vibes from Real Return of Living Dead. Yeah. I, so apparently people are making me think it actually gets scary. Uh, why didn't he open the door? There's no handle. Oh, well, I guess... I guess you're right. I don't see a handle on that door. <laughs> yeah, they do walk really fast. Alright, let's open this door right here. What is that? A cassette player? We have, a, we have a CD player, now we have a cassette. Oh no, you can't pick it up. Okay, we're gonna need to remember that. I have a fill in. Let's open the other side. Oh no, there is. You can't do that. What is that? It's a window? Hmm. Can I pull this couch out? I can't budge it. Man, you guys are weak. Alright, open this door. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh no, the girl has a flashlight! Uh, hang on. Go back out, bro. Oh, go back out. What are you doing? How do I get out of here? Oh no! Go to... Go to... Door. I thought I saw it. There we go. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get that girl. All right, have a good night, Zucan. Play this when I was six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I used to think Castlevania was scary. Oh, what the crap! I got you. Just you wait until I talk to your mother. Oh snap! I did get caught. It's just a flashlight, dude. Secret lab? Go to bottom padlock. Um, hole. I'm trying to do that. No, no. I'm trying to pull the padlock. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I bet you I can't. Well, that's not good. Alright, new kid. Can I save her? Some puzzles require two kids, like one steps on a platform to open a door and another goes through. That's really impressive. I like how you get to pick which character you wanted to come along, too. Alright, well, unfortunately, I feel like we're in trouble now. I'm gonna bring him upstairs. Let's see what's upstairs. Painting of Fred? Oh my gosh, just that creepy nurse. Painting of Edna? What's that? Nothing? Alright, let's see what's in this room. Steel security door. Can it open? Opens. <gasps> it did open. What's that? What's that on the ground? It doesn't even say anything. Right, let's open the screen door. Oh, it's dark again. We can't see. Wait, wait, wait. Examination table. A desk. What is all this? Docs or Us diploma? Blackboard. Wait, a skeleton? Let's see that at. Go to real skeleton. Ooh, that's scary. Uh. Did something happen? Open, where's it at? K 
can't say. Door. Did it work? Well, my dear, hope you're having fun. Within minutes, it'll be, it'll all be over. You'll be hooked up to my machine. Getting your pretty brains removed. Oh, this is the friend we're trying to save. You'll never get away with this. You'll never get away with this, you evil doctor. David, his friends will rescue me. You and your meteor can eat slime. <laughs> That's what she thinks. <laughs> oh, he literally said <laughs> Nice. Help, help. All right, we got the cutscene. So, gotta be doing something right, right? Some more stairs. Dude, where am I supposed to... I need to go downstairs, not upstairs. Arcade room? Air hockey table? Video fever game. Can you actually play these? Use? No, I want to use it. I guess not. I guess it doesn't let me play the arcade game. I would have freaked out if I had a little arcade game you could play. That How cool would that have been? Yeah, this is where I would stay. I would just be like, eh, this ain't so bad. Forget about her stupid friend. I'm just gonna play some arcade games. Tuna Diver, dude! Dude, wait a minute. I feel like this was telling the future. This was made in 1990. Okay, okay, never mind. Never mind. I, I thought it said Crazy Taxi. It says Disco Crazy. Tuna Diver, babe. Meteor Mess, Alien Slime, and Video Fever. Alright, go up the stairs. Oh no! Did it just scare him away? What happens if I go back? <laughs> Tuna Diver. <laughs> Tuna Diver! I feel like there's some implications there. Um, Alright, let's go back to Bernard. I mean, Dave. We're just gonna have to wander through the dark, bro. She has the flash. It's gotta be the way to get to her. There's gotta be a door in here, right? It's gotta be something. Still scrolling. Go to phone. Use phone. Oh, wait a minute. Open. Where was that? Not lamp. Open lamp. Open phone. Loose panel. Uh, that didn't work. Pull. Loose panel. Push. Loose panel. No. Okay, maybe that's not the answer I'm looking for. There's a chair. I don't see a door. Man, I needed that flashlight. How do I get back? How do I get downstairs? Old fashioned radio. No. Anybody have any clue? The only way to go up is, or to go is up. I don't get it. Maybe since, maybe he can go further since she already got caught. You think? Maybe this is the way she got taken. Whoa, we got some blood coming out of the refrigerator. We gotta take a little look-see. Oh, it's just ketchup, guys. It's just ketchup. Don't worry, guys. It's just some broken bottles of ketchup. 
I thought that might be a little much for Nintendo. All right. Oh, how did they get away with that? How'd they get away with that? It, it literally says it's a can of Pepsi. I... First time a brand just was like, it's not like Pepsi owned this company. It's not like Pepsi made this game. That is shocking, and I'm also going to take it, if it'll let me. Get Pepsi. Oh my gosh. I have a can of Pepsi. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Uh, we also got lettuce, cheese, old batteries. Oh. In the refrigerator? Pepsi never realized this can existed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. I don't think I need the broken bottles of ketchup. All right, let's keep going. I did get the Pepsi. I feel like that's going to be important. I feel like that's going to be the key. Gee, I'm hungry. Product placement, dude. The first product placement ever, maybe? Illegally? <laughs> get the batteries? Alright, going back. Uh-oh. <gasps> what? They can come get your people? I got you to the dungeon intruder. Oh, I didn't know that could happen. I didn't know they wandered around the mansion, dude. I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening to me. This is the only guy that's free. Alright, let me get them batteries. Why is there batteries in the, uh... Why is there batteries in the refrigerator? So I don't know. Ooh, the banquet hall. Old rotting turkey. Ugh. What's that? Weak old roast. Yeah, I think we're screwed now. Everybody's getting caught. I get the feeling this kind of game you play multiple times. You know what I'm saying? Where you where you figure it out a little bit more each playthrough. What do we got here? Fruit drinks. A glass jar. Canned goods. Ugh, a tentacle chow. Go to bottle of developer? What? A crate. In a creepy looking door. Um, can we open that crate? That looks like that might go to the basement. It's welded to the floor. Alright then. I don't really think I need any of that weird stuff on the shelf. Each kid does something different too? Oh, that's crazy actually. This is way ahead of its time. Uh, it wouldn't let me open that door? The door is locked. Maybe we gotta push this shelf. can't move it. Of course you can. I don't know. Developer for a picture? Oh, maybe. Whoops. Oh, he dropped it. Did he just break the crate? Well, now what? Now can I open it? I don't get it. Yeah, yuck. Broken glass. This is a game you played all weekend long? Yeah, for sure. The nerd fixes stuff, for example. Played this game on the Amiga. Oh, cool. Alright. I don't know, guys. I don't get it. I broke. I broke something. Maybe I should just keep trying to get stuff. Maybe it'll keep breaking. Let's try to get whatever the heck a tentacle chow is. No, I really did pick that up. All right. Well, that door's locked. Hmm. You didn't break anything. Yeah, I did. I tried to pick up that bottle of developer, and it broke on the ground, didn't it? And then it shows a little broken piece now. Yo, 
have to find the right item to open stuff. Yeah, but didn't you see that bottle crash on the ground? That's what I meant. I mean, I literally broke that whatever that developer was. Go to faucet. Let's turn on some water. I can't move it. And what do you mean? Oh, what's going on up here? A chainsaw? Okay. That is definitely not ketchup on the chainsaw, right? Blood. Straight up says it's blood. Yeah, it looked like it broke a hole in the grate. Yeah. Okay, I have a chainsaw now. You think we can chainsaw that grate? Like, it's just, like I don't know what the grate's made out of. It, it doesn't feel like I'd be able to do that, but... I don't know what the grate was made out of. It could be some kind of fiber. I don't know. I, well, hey, I don't know. Use... Chainsaw. Okay. Is that a gas? What? Oh, of course it is. Of course we gotta find the gas. Alright. Things just got dark, yeah. Just your average 14 year old carrying a can of Pepsi and a bloody chainsaw, right? No big deal. Fibrous Christ. <laughs> Alright, I, I don't know where to go, guys. I don't know where to go. Alright, let's go back upstairs. I don't... I, I feel like I, I should be going to the basement to get my friends, but I don't know how to do it. The garage? Is there a garage? Where's the garage at? How do you get to the garage? You need that tentacle food? I did pick up the tentacle stuff. The tentacle chow. Uh, see, it's right here. Tentacle chow. Um, where's the garage? What are you talking about? I didn't see no garage. They've got to go outside. Is it uh, is it like a detached garage over here or something? No. What's that sign say? Go to address sign? I think I'm just going to leave my friends and go back home. Sorry, guys. Is that the garage back there? No. That's a sign. What does that say? You won't read it. My uh, mouse also sometimes just moves to the right or left. Where's the garage at? Alright, that way to the kitchen. This didn't take me no garage, did it? We do have a tape player. What did that say? Cassette player. Old fashioned radio. The glass chandelier. That's just where the gas is. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I don't know where to go. But this is a cool game, no doubt. This is pretty cool. I would have tore this up as a kid. And I, I didn't know about it when I was young. Um, nobody I knew had this game, so I didn't know about it. Uh, but I would have absolutely loved it. It reminds me of uh, Shadowgate, except for Shadowgate was medieval. And I did love that game to death. Uh, I'm stuck though, I don't know where to go. But cool game, for sure. Maniac Mansion, I wouldn't mind to, I would, these days I'd pull up a guide. And every time I got stuck, I'd pull up the guide. You know what I'm saying? That'd be a fun way to play it and just see the game all the way through. Uh, this is a piece of crap game. I don't know if you guys have ever had the displeasure of playing this game. This was the first video game that I traded a friend one of my games. So I, because I want, you know, it was freaking X-Men. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't remember what game I let him borrow, but he let me borrow X-Men. And... It was pretty bad. It was pretty freaking bad. Uh, I, I Now, back then, I was like, cool. This is 
okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, was it LJN? Well, that explains a lot. Uh, that game is trash. Um, you know, I played it anyway when I was a kid, but oh, it's brutal. I was really young. I want to say I was like in, I want to say I was in like first grade. It feels like I might have been in second grade, but I was young. All right, let's find something else cool to play. Um, let's maybe move over to a system we haven't done on the show before. How about we do a Super Graphics, aka Turbo Graphics 16 game? Let's see if we can't find something cool in here. It's got no logos. Um, there was a lot of games on here, like Bonk's Adventure originally. That ended up on a lot of others, uh, but it, that was supposed to be their... Um, that was originally supposed to be their mascot. All right, let's try this. Chase Headquarters. This sounds familiar, like I played it on another system, maybe. Home Alone on the Genesis. Isn't that game supposed to be trash? Is it trash or is it good? I thought I heard you mention you liked it. Is that right? Oh, the one, that one X Mount Sega. There was a Super Nintendo one that was really good too. Yeah, I might try a little Bonk's Adventure. It's classic. It's the only good Home Alone game. Okay, I'll try it. Newtopia. Oh, yeah, it's a rough one. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a rough one. Gotta figure out the controls. Here we go. Now, this was, uh... This came out before, or... This came out, like, early Genesis Super Nintendo days, right? Am I right? I believe. Was it maybe before the Super Nintendo, actually, I think. I think it might have... I don't remember. We'd have... Somebody'd have to look it up. But it was trying to compete. Whoa. Whoa. And get into the uh, market. This may not be a great game to show off what it could do. This ain't bad, though. Ooh, look at the tunnel. Nice. A lot of different car models. I kind of like that tunnel effect. That was cool. That... I didn't make it. I didn't make it. All right, I'm gonna, um, let's try some. Let's do Bonk's Adventure. That was a good one. There was several of them. Um, let's go with the third one I think was supposed to be the best one. Look at that pixel work, boys. King Droll the Third. All right, here we go. Round one. Anybody played these games before? Look at these big pixels, bro. I don't know if I was supposed to kill him or not. Oh, you can bounce on these, right? Yep. Oh, big giant. Oh, well, that didn't last long. Never mind. Hyper level destroyed immediately. I thought I was just going to be able to... Kick their butts. Can you just jump on them? Nope, nope, nope. You have to headbutt them. Okay. I remember there being a water level I thought was really cool in this game, too. What the heck? Oh, okay. Sometimes they do bad things. Give me that candy. Oh, it made me a little bitty. What can I do, a little bitty? I don't know. There's got to be some kind of secret while I'm a little bitty. Okay, still kills the guys. Wait. Oh, yeah! I forgot about being able to climb on the walls. Is it like a wall jump? Sort of. Can't remember how this works. Okay, that guy's getting on my nerves. How does this work? Okay, there we go. I see, I see. Oh, now come on.
Give me them grapes. Oh crap. Stupid guy. Oh, but yeah, let's bust our way through down here. Oh, big steak. What's gonna happen here? Oh, invincible. Oh, I got fire. Oh, I'm not even gonna get to use it. For real, for real. And I can fly? Hurry, get out of there. Oh, this is a pretty cool power. Oh, and I forgot. After this, we gotta do... We gotta do, uh... Almost forgot. We gotta do some... I didn't miss anybody, did I? I got everybody, I think, that, that super chatted. I believe I did. It looks like I did. Hang on. Let me make sure. Uh, I'm gonna do some... Uh, we're gonna do a little Streets of Rage. Play this for a little bit longer. Ooh, oh, snap. I didn't expect that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the TurboGrafx-16 was pretty good, man. This looks great. Underappreciated console. Dang it. Oh, he just bit me. That was my feet. Get out of there. I don't know how to... Uh... There we go. Stuck on the spider web. You gotta tap the button really fast to get loose. Oh! Bad guy. Oh! Just saw that coming. Totally just like Nick Arcade, remember that show? Yeah, I do. That was a cool show, by the way. Alright. Alright. Place on the cabinet a lot. Are you talking about Bonk's Adventure? Or were you talking about that, uh, the other game that I was playing? Alright, let's go. Let's do... It's time, guys. It's time. Uh, might be my last game. It's getting a little late, so let's do, unless there's another Super Chat for a game, this I'll probably call it after this, let's play one of the greatest games ever made. We did Streets of Rage 2, and we did, we played it for a long time um, on one of these retro nights, so this time... This time, where are you at? This time we're doing Streets of Rage 3, baby. Yeah, 2 is the best. We played it for a long time on another night. But I haven't played 3 on here yet. And I did like 3 a lot. This was like the very end of the Genesis lifespan. 1994. Alright, I'm turning this difficulty down though. Alright, let's turn these lives up too. Alright, let's do it. And of course, I, I have to be my boy. I have to be Axel. He's the best. It's hard, yeah, I know. Oh, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. I accidentally pressed the button that goes back. Phew, that was close. Another few seconds and boom. Yes, we're lucky we found the bomb. What's our next move, Axel? Well, Zam was right about the bomb. Maybe he's right about the robots, too. But I'll have to see it to believe it. Let's try to get a lead from the punks. I'm sorry. You don't believe me, Axel. But there's no time to waste. Let's go. Yeah, Streets of Rage 4 is really good. Is that what you're talking about? I thought that was official. Yeah, you're talking about the real Streets of Rage 4. It's pretty freaking good, bro. I don't know if you played it or not. It's pretty freaking good. I, you might be talking about something different. But the, the real Streets of Rage 4, it's awesome. If you haven't played it yet, I think it's free on, um, well, not free, but included with the Xbox Game Pass, I think. You might want to double check that. might be wrong. Um, and I think it's pretty cheap on Steam, and it's on Switch, and PS4, and PS5, and it's on everything. I gotta get my, first of all, what's my move? I don't remember it. Okay, that's the one that wastes my health. I have to remember my special moves. Give me that apple. 
Full health, baby. I love this run, too. I think they... I, I don't remember if that was in Streets of Rage 2, if it was added in this game. Let's break open this box. Oh, I didn't even see that baseball bat. Nice. Look at these graphics, dude. They're freaking awesome. All right, baseball bat's gone. He's going to get back up. Take that, fiend! This is peak Genesis graphics. Like, not sure it gets much better than this. Old man with the gun. Come for me again. One more time, son. Got him. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Junior? The remake took one to three and mixed it up with a ton of new stuff. I have four on Steam on Switch. I bought the collector's boxes, but that was a statue. Oh, yeah, right. I did see that. But we got the sword now, punks. I can actually uh, stream four from Steam uh, onto my arcade cab. It's so good. I bet. Oh, you got it on your arcade. I bet you that's a freaking awesome way to play it. Yeah, I liked four a lot. Four was really well done. I like the new Ninja Turtle uh, arcade game too. Um, Shredder's Revenge, I think it's called. That was freaking cool. All right, I need help. I have to be really careful. I'm about to lose a life. Alright, we got the fat boy. Oh, crap. Motorcycle people. Ugh, messed it up. I messed it up. Let's just dodge him. I think one comes. That okay, might be it for him. Oh, yeah. Here they come up on the boat. Almost got the second one. I almost got the second one. There goes the life, though. I wish I could remember some of the moves. I can't get it. Look how much better these guys even look than part two. They did a good job. They're working with the exact same hardware. Just that pixel work is insane. The amount of detail on these pixels is pretty crazy. Not to mention that they got a little bit of parallax scrolling going on back there in the backgrounds, which was not easy to do on the Genesis. Genesis is from 1981. Right? I think I'm right about that. No, it can't be 81. 80. 86 maybe 1986 it's pr it's old it was way older hardware than the super nintendo especially in a time where like graphics every year were getting massive you know insane technology was just moving so quick so it's absolutely nuts that the genesis actually competed with the super nintendo for real and actually kicked its butt for a long time I forgot you'd knock those over. Omic Zone? That game looks insane. Oh, give me that whip. Did she drop it? I don't think she did. Ooh, don't let her get me. 
Ooh, she's gonna get me. I thought she dropped that whip. Am I thinking of a different game? Oh! That scream, dude. <laughs> oh boy, here we go, here we go. Real boss fight. Ugh, his jump kick. Ah, oh, dang it. Threw me. I was about to say, I thought that wasn't going to hit him. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I, I thought I could pick those up or something. Am I wrong? No. Can't. I was wrong. But we got him down to his real health now, at least. Dang it. Oh, come on. Get that chicken dinner, get my health back. There we go. Sheba. Oh, what? He flew him away. Sheba's my bro, Double Dragon. Oh, I am thinking the Double Dragon, yep. This cutscene. I, I can't believe it. No one told me a thing. We're wasting time fighting these punks. I think I have an idea where to go now. I hope you're right. Stage two. Oh, I love this stage. It looks so good. I dang it, almost had him. Oh, that should have counted. Still got him at least. This track in the whole game just didn't have a great original soundtrack like one and two, yeah. Yeah. Two was really good. I haven't played one in a really long time because once I got Streets of Rage 2, I don't think I ever played Streets of Rage 1 ever again, dude. I had Streets of Rage 2 on my Genesis and on my Game Gear because I wanted to play it all the time. That way, I, like, my grandma wouldn't let me hook up my uh, systems to her TV. She thought it would break them. So when I went over to grandma's house, I could bring my Game Gear. I could still play. I bring it to sneak it to school because I wasn't supposed to bring it to school. So I could play it on the bus. I, I love Streets of Rage 2 so much. I like this one too, but it was at the end of its lifespan. I can't remember if the Sega Saturn was already out, or if I already had a Sega Saturn at this point. Oh, I forgot about the kangaroo guy! Look at these animations, dude. They're so well done. This guy's annoying. Like, it's a dang shame that they didn't continue this series for real. Like, there should have been a Streets of Rage 4 on the Sega Saturn. And there should have been a Streets of Rage 5 on the freaking Dreamcast. What a waste. Dang it, get up. Oh, there was these bare knuckles. How did I do that, though? There it is, okay. It's for a forward punch. I thought, I thought I was trying that at the beginning. Bare Knuckles Punch. There it is. Look at these effects, dude. 
This is so good, dude. It's so good. Look at this. Look at this. I love it. This is my favorite part in the whole game. Like, this is some crazy special effects for the time, dude. Look at this. It's so good. Look at the crowd back there, dude. This is just epic as crap for the time. This is just Sega just showing off, bro. The strobe effects, so good. Oh, why can't that guy? Fighting Force, eh. I feel like it wasn't even close to being as good. It was okay. I had fun with it. Like, in my opinion, the closest thing to Streets of Rage was a game called, um, it was in arcade. It did come to Sega Saturn, and then they did a better arcade port of it on the Dreamcast. And it was actually called Dynamite Cop, but in America they changed the name to Die Hard Arcade. Die Hard Arcade was pretty freaking close to Streets of Rage formula, in my opinion. I don't know if you're... Oh, there you go. You're already talking about it. You're already talking about it. Yep, you already know. The, I think that's... To me, that had the spirit of Streets of Rage. I loved that arcade game. I spent way too much embarrassingly amount of money on Die Hard Arcade. I owned it on Sega Saturn. I rebought it on Dreamcast. Um... I think I had to have it imported from, like, Europe on the Dreamcast, if I'm not mistaken. Love that game, bro. Still do. I love the levels in this game. They got... They, uh, they just did a good job. Okay, this is gonna be right where I die. I got two lives. I think I hit her with that. Ugh. They're just so crazy! Stay still, let me smack you. Dang it. Ah! They still got so much help, bro. <laughs> ah! Come on, the other lady helped her. Gotcha. Boom. Oh, there's another life. Come on. There's freaking two of them, too. They each got their own individual health. This is so not fair. Ugh. Double Dragon, uh, Battle Toads. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Dang it, I was hoping she walked back out into that. Oh. Last life. I might I might get past them, maybe. Oh my goodness. Come on. Dang it. I got her. Before she did her little cast. Almost got her dead. Come on. Dude, they're so hard to hit. Oh, come on. That should have hit him. Almost got one of them down. There's one down. Come on. 
Got her. Dang. They're hard. You know, I never really actually played Battletoads in arcade. The NES was the main version of it I played. I, I If I did play it, I don't remember it in my brain at all. Come and inspect the building of our new mall. I knew this place was linked with the syndicate. We interrupt this program for an important announcement. The chief of police has been kidnapped. The last person seen with him was ex-cop Axel Stone. What? I haven't seen him for over six months. Coming at this time. The loss of such a senior city figure can only mean further mayhem if more bombs explode. I think this means trouble. Let's go get to the construction site. This is actually a cool level too. This is uh, this is usually like until you get really good at the game. It's usually about as far as you make it. You know, this is about usually where you die. I like the little trash blowing. It's just freaking, they did so, they just, this was just really Sega just show it off right at the end. You know, it really was. Let's break this bottle on somebody. Whoops. Whoops. Forgot about the whole. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it here. It's getting a little late. Thanks everybody for coming out. Super successful retro night. Best one yet. I uh, appreciate you guys so much. Um, super fun. Love playing this classic games. We do this every Wednesday night. Um, or every Wednesday evening. Come back and join us next Wednesdays. We play more retro games. Big, big, big shout out to everybody for their super chats and uh, Life of Ryan for his epic super chat tonight. Thank you so much, brother. What a blessing. But thank you to everybody who super chat tonight for uh, games. We had Life of Ryan. We had Crinkled. We had Grand Ole Reaper. We had Graham Olsen, Mugen, and Dimelos all showed up and showed out. Thank you all so very much. Love you guys so much. Thank you all for coming and chatting with me, talking about nostalgic Old school game, super fun. Love it. Love it so much. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. I am going to stream the Pantheon um, uh, Discord Q&A. Uh, now, uh, it'll be live, so I'll try to like give some input and information and how I feel about the stuff they're talking about in between. So if you're not part of their Discord, but you want to know what goes on, or whatever, you just want to hear my opinion as it's talking, or uh, sometimes that Discord actually fills up and people have trouble actually hearing it, etc. Because it only those Discord rooms only hold so many people. Uh, sometimes it, it overfills, so you can watch it on my channel. I'm going to stream it so I can talk about it and we can kind of discuss my opinions on it and all that kind of thing. I am also in conversation with a couple of the developers about something really cool, but I can't announce it yet uh, until it gets cleared. So hopefully I'll have big news coming soon. Um, but yeah, thank you all so very much. Appreciate everybody. Everybody have a great night. Get some sleep. And, um, yeah, hit the like button on your way out, guys, before you leave. And if you're new here, you like old school games. We do this every Wednesday. We normally do MMORPGs and RPG content uh, all day, every day. But we do this every Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Appreciate all of you. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Goodbye. God bless, everybody. Have a good night.